Guys, this woman is a predator. Daisy is a predator, but Andrew Tate isn't? I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. Guy, Feel bad or no? Fuck no. To give a solitary fuck. <laughs> Could you tell like- I yeah. don't give a fuck. She is a predator and Andrew Tate isn't? And bro, how about they're both predators? How about they're both pieces of shit? Bro, I, I, that is why Myron is trying to protect the brand. Because basically he didn't just nut inside. He, he took this escort to meet his family. Oh, and that ruins the brand because he was about to wife up an escort. Oh, okay. Now I get why they're doing, oh, I get why Myron's stressing. He's going to have to get a new hairpiece after this. So we're going to watch this. And as a community, I want us to ask ourselves, is Myron changing our mind about Daisy and Walter? Or is the initial impression we got reading the text messages and all of that, watching Abin preach, is did we come to a good conclusion? This is like an opportunity, one, to make content and make money like the stream, but two, is to see how different people People have a different perspective or perception on the same event. Watching Papa Gut, watching other people react, watching everyone give insight into the event has given me an opportunity to bubble hop, see how other people perceive the same exact situation. Guys, we're all reading the same messages. We're seeing the same videos. And yet we're all coming away with a different perception. Tell me that that is not everybody, that that is not how the whole world stays in conflict because we literally all perceive information differently. We will see the same text messages and come away with completely different conclusions so human bro what i will do is i'm going to go outline their relationship for you guys okay i have dates here etc and we're going to walk through it real fast so number one they were never in a serious relationship okay though she might say oh i was a serious relationship what does a serious relationship look like to fresh and fit what would that even look like right I think that's the problem we're all having is what a, what does a serious relationship look like to you and me? Because some people move in with people and they don't consider it serious. Lots of people move in with people and they ain't that serious about it. Some people get married and they're not even that serious about it. So I could believe that from Walter's perspective, they're not in a serious relationship. I absolutely believe that. I don't think Daisy was aware of that or if she was, she was hoping it wasn't true with him and she goes on this podcast saying i loved him etc he was seeing other women and you guys know that because if you saw the video clip right she in there she says that he was talking to other women so she knows that right so they met on november 21st at el santo okay which is a club here in miami right pretty much fresh trademark uh they went on their first date november 26th they had sex that night alex said to the general population what they presented seems serious yeah i think what they presented did seem serious. I just think that's why it's so important for us as a as an observing audience to remember that everyone lives in different bubbles, different cultural expectations, and things look different to different people. And that's why it's so confusing to know what's serious. I do think that it's always confusing. This is why nobody fits right into the, the same bubble. Like they're not conservatives like the religious people. They're not traditionists like a lot of religious people. They're not... They're like not leftists. They're not liberals, but they're not traditional general conservatives where meeting your parents matters. But also in a lot of these conservative bubbles, they also pretend a lot more like they do pretend they're more con like serious or conservative than they are when behind closed doors they're not. That's why so many conservatives have babies out of wedlock. So many conservatives, so many Trump voters are absolutely not going to church. They're absolutely not doing any of these things. So, you know. It's like what even is an expectation of behavior? And I think some people really do believe and some people are absolutely living their values to a T. I'm just not sure that the world is aware of how nuanced it is. So this is our opportunity to realize that. Okay. She left on November 28th for New York. As you guys know, this girl has an apartment in New York as well. She was going back and forth between here and there. Love that. Uh, and then they talked on WhatsApp on January 1st, 2018. Amber says this is giving the same energy as Crowder's producer making statements for him, literally. 24. So he saw her again, guys, right? So she left the 28th, and then he started talking on WhatsApp on the 1st. I mean, they were talking on Instagram before that, but as you guys know, we can't show those messages because first Instagram got wiped with mine. Mm. Then on December 28th to January 10th, she was in Miami, right? They spent a few days together. About half that time, she wasn't with Fresh, right? Then... They didn't see each other again until March 9th, right, in Barbados. They met in Barbados and hung out in Barbados mm -hmm. for a few days, mm -hmm. right? They were there for approximately three days. 
Then she was in Miami for the rest of that period, right? Mm-hmm. So from March 9th to 24th, they spent time together here in Miami and also in Barbados. That's where she met his family, etc. Right? Then, so what? We're talking about 20 days here that they spent, uh, even though they knew each other since November, she was in China for a period of time, New York, etc. I mean, I got engaged to my guy after physically being with him for like, uh, because we were very serious about marriage. So we were courting and we spent a total of three weeks together before we got engaged in real life. So. Yeah, I think that was that's accurate because he came to America for two weeks and then I went to Croatia for a week, met his family. We got engaged, bought our rings. He came back to help me with doctor's appointments and stuff like that and stayed with me for a month. But by that time we were engaged. He brought my ring. He brought our rings. And so, yeah, I my yeah, my partner and I knew each other in real life in physical proximity for three whole weeks. Uh, And yeah. Best decision I ever made. He's the most wonderful human I've ever met. And we really, we were just talking about this earlier. We wondered, like, will we be 90 years old and feel like we never had enough time together? And it's just we like each other. We like each other so much. He, We really are, like, besties. He's just the most wonderful human ever. You know, he's just the nicest, sweetest, most wonderful human. Now, of course, we also talked every day. We chatted every day. We exchanged like 30,000 messages in the first like month we were talking. We're, you know what I mean? So for us, it's like, that makes sense. I mean, my brother met his wife on one date and wanted to meet her parents and then married her. So my, like everyone has a different relationship with the courting. But when you're serious about marriage, when you're very serious and you know you found your life partner, it's very different. When you know you found your person, time doesn't matter. When you're not sure if you found your person, time definitely matters. You know what I mean? They'll come back and forth. So they've spent about, I'd say, roughly 15 to 20 days together, right? Cumulatively. During the course of this time, there were a bunch of red flags that Fresh noticed oh. that made him say, you know what, I don't know if I could take this girl seriously. Um, Was the red flag that she was into Walter? <laughs> Was the red flag that she was into Walter? Because that's my red flag. Okay. Ploppy says, is he religious? My husband? No, we're very not religious. No, we're very not religious. Number one, he had mentioned to her that there was a guy in Las Vegas. As you guys know, we go to Las Vegas all the time to do, you know, Access Vegas, etc. We'll actually be there tomorrow. Okay. Um, <sighs> and when we were out there, a photographer had said, oh, I know her. And... And he didn't say anything bad. However, when Fresh mentioned to her that someone in Vegas knew her, she got really nervous and scared. And he was like, hmm, that's weird. Why would you get so nervous? Right? Hmm. Number two, she has three phones. I love that he's got like a notebook. He's like, number one. (laughs) He's, that's great. He's so like, um, you know what I mean? Okay. Three, he saw... Towards the end of the relationship and what made him kind of say, I don't want to deal with this girl anymore, was he saw random conversations with four numbers unsaved on one of her phones. Okay. Okay. Uh, When they came back from Barbados, they were stopped by customs. I mean, Walter is allowed to not, uh, he's allowed to break up with her. The question is, should fuck boys lead women on? No, that's not, it's immoral. I think it's immoral personally, my own perspective. I think it's wrong to lie. To get into a relationship. I think if somebody lies to you, you should count them as like a bad person, but not like an evil person, just like not good for you, you know, but lots of people think it's romantic. You know how many people I know that like went on a first date with somebody and then that person would confess to them like I have a relationship or I just got divorced or actually I'm in the middle of a separation and they hid it from them let them travel to them or spend money on them. And then they just go, okay, well, that's just like your journey, bro. Yeah, for real. If you want to put up with that person's journey, for sure. But ultimately, I feel like no one is the victim in this story. And I do think they were lying to each other in different ways. I think Daisy was hoping the relationship would go somewhere. And Myron was, I mean, Myron, Walter was doing Walter stuff. He was lying to the girl and and saying things to her that sounded good. But I'm not that surprised, you know what I mean, that they wouldn't be each other's 
person. I'm not even convinced people in the fresh and fit bubble or even people in the daisy bubble actually end up with the love of their life. Like that person who's so perfectly compatible with them and actually like is symbiotic and it's perfect and it's everything they ever wanted because they're too shallow. I think shallow people don't get to find the love of their life. I don't think there's enough room for love when you're shallow. That's my opinion. She, they interviewed her for two hours, guys. Okay. When she was being held at customs. You guys know I used to work uh, for Immigration and Customs Enforcement as an investigator for Homeland Security Investigations. And no, normally when they detain you at the airport like that, something is going on. And they detained her for two hours and she showed pictures of her and Fresh together, etc. More than likely what I'm suspecting, I don't know this for a fact, but then for them to detain her for two hours. Remember, guys, she's a foreign national. She's Chinese. She's here on a visitor visa, which she's admitted on other podcasts, by the way, which is typically a B1, B2 visa. They probably think that she's here working illegally or maybe doing some kind of sex work, which we're going to get into that as well. OK, we don't know for a fact. But for them to hold you at the border like that tells me something, right? Then, after Fresh cut the relationship off with her, she finally admitted that she had sugar daddies in the past. She took off to New York. Nothing wrong with being a sex worker or having sugar babies. Myron and Walter literally like sex workers. They post their profiles on sugar baby websites. When Myron was questioned about that from H3H3, he says, like, that's how you get some quality women, it's like men who love sex workers also like love to hate them. And it's very strange. There's nothing wrong with dating a sex worker. Sex workers are just as honest as boys who run advice podcasts. That's a joke. It's just certain types of people. Look, if you're a sex worker and dishonest, it's not because you're a sex worker. If you're a podcaster and dishonest, it's not because you're a podcaster. If you're dishonest, you're dishonest. It doesn't matter what your job is. Look right away, right? And she didn't, she, she, and, and we'll show an Instagram picture right now, actually, real fast, uh, mm -hmm. right, of when she took off. So she goes, by chasing new and better life, Miami International Airport Delta. By the way, this is business class sucks. Goes, after Fresh told her, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't intend on marrying you. And, um, you know, I'm not going to get you an apartment because mind you, this all started, guys, because she wanted an apartment and yeah. Fresh said no. Okay. Right? And she put drops. So she leaves a bro. What are we? Well, I'm still confused of what we're talking about here. I mean, I know from my audience, like it doesn't matter. Walter and her suck. You know what I mean? Like they both just suck. So what? Are, what is Myron proving right now? He's proving she's a liar. But Walter's a liar. They're both liars. I mean, does one liar get to be better than the other liar? And I wouldn't believe it if it came from another woman. But guess who it came from? Pug CEO himself. What's the worst thing you guys have done to a girl? Oh. So, if you guys know Tom Likas, there's some something called the Hail Mary. Yeah. And like, oh, um, shit. basically, you really tell this story. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay. Do so it. basically, right, I was with this chick, and we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out, but she got pregnant. And then, um, <laughs> I kind of told her like, "Yo, we can work this out. Don't worry about it. But we can't kiss right now." And then um, I did the Hail Mary. And now I'm here. No, tell them what the Hail Mary is. Tell them what the Hail Mary is. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what it is. Okay. Go all the way. Okay, okay. So the Hail Mary is the first example, right? Where like you tell the chick what she wants to hear and that you have kids later on, make her get an abortion, you take her to Mac Mac McDonald's, get a McGriddle and an orange juice, you sit her down, you tell her about life, and I, you started this happen, and you never see her again. Wait. That got really dark. That got really you can't really give her a nicer meal. Fresh. Are you ever gonna stop self snitching? Again! You fucking idiots! And in case you're wondering whether or not this is a real story, if you keep watching the clip, you'll see that that being said, Fresh says it's real. Coconuts and Barbados. You know, it's, it's okay. People were like, oh, why would you think this? Because this is who Fresh is. This is things he's done before. So essentially, this guy gets a girl pregnant, pretends he's going to be with her, says, listen, I, don't, I want babies with you, but it's just not the right time. So that the girl's so in love, she's like, all right, I'll get rid of this kid that I do want that you put inside of me. But to be with you, I'll get rid of it, and then we'll have kids together in the future when it's going to be the right time. And then he dumps her after she got the abortion. Does this seem like the kind of person who's trustworthy and responsible? I'm asking. According to Fresh himself, he's not. He's a deceptive individual who will say anything to a woman to get her to like him and then will also lie to her to get himself out of any situation. I said, if a girl's on camera, 
with me. She is what? Not my girl. Let's keep that in mind. If I bring a girl on camera, she's not my girl. You never see my girl because I know what happens when you bring her on, on the internet. I learned from experience. That's all I'm gonna say. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Love you, babe. Love you. When I say Fresh is not credible and he's a dishonest person, this is what I mean. Is this red pill? To nut inside of a bunch of women, get them pregnant, and hope you can use deception to get them your abortions? The nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Is it part of the nuclear family to nut inside a bunch of women that you don't actually want to be with and get them pregnant and hope they get abortions? Is this how you father uh, families and don't create single parent households? You know the thing is, all this time, people and them, they've been saying that we're not red pill, even though we never claim that we are. And we're not. But neither are you. You know what I mean? Like that's, that is still my question is why are we still having these conversations? And also what's the proof that she's a sex worker? Because she's saying she isn't one. What's the proof she is one? Because men giving you money does not make you a sex worker. I hope you guys fucking know that. Otherwise, like every woman is a sex worker. That makes no sense. So I don't even know what anyone is trying to prove. You know what I mean? Like, what is he trying to prove right now? If she drops the Instagram story saying, bye, going to find a better life, right? As she's getting on a plane to go back to New York, and she's been in New York since, right? She left on or about, I want to say, March 26th, I think is the day that she left, March 26th. So they get back. So the timeline, again, November 21st, they meet, okay? No, uh, they hang out again. She said she was an escort. She also said she wasn't an escort. So... I don't know. I haven't seen the video of her saying she is an escort, so I'm going to need to see that. And also, people are allowed to be escorts and still be good people, so I don't even know why that matters. Um, but also, that just means, like, my or Walter and Fresh, what, Walter has been engaging with sex workers, which is also fine. I think a lot of the women on their shows are sex workers. She went to Dubai. I think going to Dubai as an Instagram girl means it's a high chance of sex work. I mean, maybe. Definitely a stereotype, for sure. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm not sure what that proves, but let's see. Uh, December 28th to January 10th for a period. Of he has a whole video of her negotiating sex for money. Okay, great. Like that's, you know, get paid. Right. But like, okay. Does that change anything? Time then from March 9th to the 24th. He basically breaks up with her a day or two after they get back. Uh, after is Myron trying to prove that the only reason she's saying she has a baby is to get money out of... No. Yeah. Okay, so they're trying to say that because she's a sex worker, this whole thing was 4D chess the whole time. Yeah, so she's just as bad as the shitty guys that overpromise and never happen. Like, nothing ever happens. You know what I mean? I guess? I don't know. I mean, I both think they're shitty people. That's why I'm saying, why did anyone ever take sides, Daisy or Walter? They're both shitty people. Why would you even pick a horse in this race? Both will lose. That's why I didn't understand why people were defending Daisy. Because I'm like, she sounds like a piece of shit. She fucked Walter. How good of a person can you be if you fuck Walter? Um, they're back in Barbados here in Miami. Says, hey, I don't want to get you the Uh Amber says the only reason sex work matters is for paternity, which is what they're trying to shift to. Didn't I predict, though, that the baby might not be Walter's? I did say there's a high chance that baby's not Walter's. You know? Does prostituting yourself once or twice make you a sex worker? You're only a sex worker if you're currently doing sex work. You're not a like you're you're not a sex worker if you're not practicing sex work. So if you're currently doing sex work, you're a sex worker. If you're not doing sex work, you're not a sex worker. You know, it's a job. It's like, is is he still a federal is Myron still a federal agent? No, he's not doing federal agent stuff. He's a podcaster now. Department. I don't, I don't want to marry you. I don't think this is going to work out like long term because she wanted a serious relationship. So she gets on a plane and leaves on the 26th, right? Mind you, well, actually, no, we're going to talk about that later on. We're going to talk about the... Yeah, also, I, I'm going to be real with you guys. Like, I've been invited to go to Dubai, not by men, by women, because I have friends who live in like similar areas or in adjacent to Dubai. And I would love to go see my girlfriends there. And they're like... They're not sex workers. They're just people. Because you know normal people live in Dubai. I don't know if you guys know this. But normal people do live in the area. So I've been invited to go. And I would love to go. But I am an OnlyFans girl because I love sex. Like, I, it's not... I'm not the same kind of OnlyFans girl that, like, these girls are. We're in different categories. Obviously, I'm, like, the nerdy queer girl who makes, like, pro-nude sex work, like, stuff. It's different. But at the end of the day, it's still, quote... 
that kind of sort of stereotype. I agree that if Daisy went to Dubai, there's an insinuation. She's also a sex worker in Dubai because of the way she presents. But if I went to Dubai, nobody would really accuse me of being an escort. Not that I would take that as an insult. I'm just not one. But I technically do have an OnlyFans. I technically do have salacious pictures on Instagram. I technically, but it doesn't, it doesn't even, you know what I mean? So like, you know, regular people do live in Dubai. So there's a reason to go there. Also, you don't need a visa if you're from China to go to Dubai from my understanding. So it's not that hard for her to go. The question is, does she go to Dubai to see girls or does she go to Dubai to see men? Because if you went to Dubai to see men, there's probably a high probability at sex work. If she went to go see women, probably a low probability at sex work. And that's how I would view it, right? Pregnancy in that in a whole other chapter. We got a couple chapters on this thing. But I just wanted to give you guys the relationship, okay? Okay. Yeah, so that's how they met. That's how long they've hung out with each other and known each other. Though they've known each other since November, cumulatively speaking, okay, they only spent roughly between 15 to 20 days actually hanging out with each other and speaking to each other and during the course of them meeting and hanging out with each other fresh is vetting her he's testing her he's okay. asking her questions etc mm -hmm. and she failed the test right okay. she failed the test these are a couple of the red flags that he noticed while he was hanging out with her in person mm -hmm. that made him say i can't commit to this girl i can't take this girl seriously mm -hmm. mind you he was doing his thing and he had other women as well which is something that she was also angry about during this whole situation so there we go now that we have an idea of the relationship let's get into the other elephant in the room, okay? We talked about the first elephant in the room with the relationship and okay. Fresh being an idiot, which we, he is. Let's just be honest here. He made a big fucking mistake. And mm -hmm. it is what it is. You know, guys make mistakes. No one is perfect. But this one was a big one. And we got to take accountability for that. He fucked up here, right? Okay. So as you guys know, she's been running around. She went on Abba and Preach's uh, pod, right? And I'm not surprised. You know, Abba and Preach have been making videos on us for years now at this point. They've made somewhere between 30 to 40 videos on us. You're uh, welcome talking shit, trying to attack our character, etc. And other podcasts as well she's went on, you know, talking about this story, etc. She's essentially been doing a press run. So she didn't meet his mom? No, no, no. She met the mom. There's pictures. They definitely met. She gave the mom a gift. She'd definitely be meeting the moms. The past now, the mom is elderly, so maybe she just doesn't know what's going on, but... A few days ever since she leaked this phone call and text messages, right? And I'm going to show you guys a clip. One of the things she's been doing is saying that she is not a sex worker, right? So let's go ahead and uh, play the two clips where she says this. Here's from one podcast, which I will not name. They're accusing me for being an escort and being on this kind of website. Just use the brand if I'm a Miss Asia and I'm a former bodybuilder. Why would I put myself on the internet? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. That's called website. That is no, it doesn't make sense. We even, uh, one thing that I, and I didn't. Okay, so he says, yeah, doesn't make sense. I don't believe it. Yeah, you're not. Now let's go ahead and play uh, our favorite <laughs> YouTubers here. Because, and, and it's interesting because these guys were so quick to try to use this as content to make us look bad, they didn't properly vet this girl, but it's okay, I'm gonna do it for them. Okay. You know, because since they wanna bring this girl on and platform her, et cetera, but they don't know the real Daisy Chen. They don't know Jin Chen, but I know Jin Chen. And I'm gonna make you guys very familiar with her as well. We're all gonna know Jin Chen when this is done. Love that, let's, let's do play it. Let's clip now. Let's do it. That I would interview the woman in question at the heart of this whole thing. Mm -hmm. She provided me a bunch of screenshots, uh, screen recordings, and a bunch of different things. And I think it answered a lot of the questions that would seem to be unanswered before. Mm -hmm. Things like whether or not she's a worker. She isn't. What was the time? Okay. Abba. Okay. You stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to show it right now. Okay. So she, let's let's uh, go ahead and she said she's not a sex worker. She's not an escort. Okay. What's this? In this photo that you guys can see here, we can see Jin Chen with meeting up with a potential client. Okay. I'm not going to say where this was. But what I'm about to show you guys is all exclusive stuff that no one else has. Okay? But it's an anonymous source. Okay? So, this is a photo of her meeting up with a guy. And it gets better. We got video and audio. Run the clip. If you call me an escort, prove it. Prove it. Firstly, you should pay her. No. Cash only. No. Which insurance for? Do you have cash? I would prefer to pay you half. Why? I'm 
I don't know if you guys can hear the audio, but he's saying, I want to pay you half and then half after, half up front, half after, because I've never had a, a good, you know, situation happen when I've paid up front. And she said, why not? And he said, at one time I've had this girl. <laughs> she said she came like three times. Okay. Three times and that she couldn't do it. And that she couldn't do it anymore. So you're going to do it at so you're going to do it two, three times to me. I have been scammed in the past. I've been scammed in the past. Yeah, but I'm a girl. I'm she said, yeah, but I'm a girl. I need to be more secure. I need to be more secure. If you're not making an excuse, then if you're making an excuse, now that means you're not willing to pay. You are not willing to pay. I would like to please you orally. I would like to please you orally. Okay, guys, please like this stream. You know I'm going to demonetize, bro. For like an hour or so, it's not just me fucking, but yeah. Usually I'll just pay for two, three, four. She said nonstop. So if this proves she's a sex worker, do all the videos of Andrew Tate prove he's a sex trafficker? Because he admitted that on tape. If this proves she's an escort, would Myron say that it also proves Andrew Tate's a sex trafficker because he admitted it on video? Who's recording this? Who allowed the video to go in, in? If this is illegal, who's recording this? Does the guy recording it? She recording it? Is it part of a safety protocol? I'm just saying, I'm happy to take this at word. This looks like a, an exchange for money for sex, which, great, love that. But if that's the case and Myron is going to keep this as 100% proof, then Andrew's, then he better come out as Andrew taping a sex trafficker because he literally admitted it on video. And so now I don't see what, I don't understand how Myron is saying this is proof. I cannot stay for two or three hours. I can't stay for two or three hours? Okay. I can't stay, but I cannot have sex for two. I cannot, I can stay, but I can't have sex for two to three hours. Three hours. Well, it's not literally two to three hours. You take a break, you breathe, you make out, you do it again. Who can do that? It's not just sex for two three hours. You have to trust notice. You will not be uncomfortable. So is she just doing this for the first time? Is this her 10th time? She doesn't sound like an escort. I'm going to be real with you. This is not how negotiations go for the escorts I know. She sounds like a girl who's considering it. I could be wrong. I should get my sex worker friends to call in, but I don't understand this conversation. If she's an escort, having sex for two, three, three hours, like making an appointment time, that's not abnormal, I think. I could be wrong because I've, I've never escorted. I don't know. But I feel like when I listen to my friends tell me stories, they are very, they're very much with their clients for a while. It depends on what the client wants. You pay a premium. The sex workers in Las Vegas that are really famous, they do two to three hour sessions or an hour session depending on, you know, everything. So I'm not sure this is proving she's a sex worker. It sounds like she's just having sex for money, but it's not, that's not the same thing as being an escort. Like, I know it sounds like the same thing, but it's the same way that when your friend sells you weed, they're not a drug dealer the way the cartel is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not convinced she's an escort. She doesn't sound like one. She sounds like a girl who's kind of like needs money. So she's willing to exchange it, which is, it's not the same thing. If you pay cash, I'll stay here for one hour. Doesn't mean you're gonna stay for one hour. Then I will stay here for one hour. And I'll leave. Because for you, <sighs> one hour is enough. You said two, three hours. I cannot stay for two or three hours. So they're still arguing about like, or debating, or I guess negotiating how long she can stay. I guess. Honestly, the onus is on you to make this experience wonderful so that I will want to see you again. Okay, so let's get started. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know what that proved. I'm not sure what that proved. She could be a sex worker or she could like if um yeah, sex work is a very specific thing. So I I'm going to be a little pedantic about this. But if this proves she's a sex worker then Andrew Tate definitely is a sex trafficker. So I feel a little confused about this. I've got you in 
my sights. I could end the podcast right there. But wait! There's more. Yeah, she sounds like a sugar baby that wasn't sleeping with guys trying to transition to full set on the escorting. That's the problem is even being a sugar baby is a very specific thing. Like, if you're on OnlyFans, that's not sugaring. Sugaring is a very specific thing. Just like, but the internet, like, I, I'm going to be, like, a little, like, pedantic. Like, again, I'm going to be specific with the terminology just because it does make a difference for my audience, not for their audience, not for the regular internet, not for normies. Normies are stupid. But for you and I, we know there's a very nuanced difference between somebody who does OnlyFans as a sex worker, somebody who's uh, uh, has a pimp, somebody who's an escort, somebody who does. There's so many different variations. So I want to know what variation is she? Some people think women who go out to get a free meal from a guy and sleeps with him. Some people think that's sex work. That's just like a date for some people. So that's just like someone's dating life. So again, I'm not sure what she is yet. Um, like our men, if a man buys dinner for a woman and then expects sex, is he is he engaging with a sex worker? Because like I'm just not com I'm a little confused. There's more because I see she's been running around saying that she's not an escort, etc. No, I don't do this. Blah blah. blah. I mean, I'll let you guys decide what you think after seeing that, okay? Yeah, that did not convince me she was an escort, but she could be. I'm, I don't care if she's an escort, so it doesn't matter, but I'm not... The video wasn't enough. She could be an escort. She could not be. But I'm not sure why that matters. We're going to keep going. There's more. I could end it right there, but let's go. Let's keep going. So, obviously, you guys can see here, that sounds like negotiating for something. Alice says whether or not she's a sex worker doesn't matter. Walter admitted to unprotected sex with her, making him a potential father. Of course. That's what I mean. I'm so confused about what this is all about. Are we trying to prove something? Walter already admitted he had unprotected sex with her. So what does this all matter? Like, none of this matters. Like, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know why people were saying, like, Daisy's telling the truth. Walter's telling the truth. They both told the truth. She was under the impression they were closer than they were. Or she's giving him the girlfriend experience. He had unprotected sex with her. She could be pregnant. What are we even dismantling? What are we even talking about? So that's what I'm saying. Is this so normy for like I don't even understand why people are making why are we even making content about this? You know what I mean? I don't know what particularly, right? But I think we all know kind of what it may or may not be, right? So she's also talked about how she's a good person and her character, etc. We got some more, guys. So Conrad, please stop with the homophobia in the comments. Like basic you're basically being homophobic. You're like being weird, like trying to make straight men gay is just like, it's funny, but like you've been doing it too much. They are literally in love with each other as bros, but like, I don't know why you're writing that Andrew wished he could be gay with his brother. That's not funny and it's not true. I'm sorry. Like I, I, you're making the joke too often. I can see you making it too often. Okay. It just doesn't make sense, but it makes sense that friends would want to like defend each other. I just don't know what they're defending him over, you know? F word says she's trying to paint the narrative that she's an untrustworthy person. I guess. I guess. But also, what does that change if Walter nutted in her? She she probably is untrustworthy. So is Walter. Like, to me, they're both untrustworthy. You know what I mean? So I'm not really sure who this is for. I have here a Chinese police report. You guys are probably wondering, Myra, what the hell? What's this? Guys, this is a police report where she basically stole money. Um, Andrew Tate is literally accused of rape in the UK and trying to get, they're trying to extradite him right now. What does that matter? A Andrew Tate literally has record after record after record. What does it matter that she has a record? Again, it's funny that it matters when the women do, do have records, but it doesn't matter when the men do. From an individual. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She stole money from an individual. All right. Okay, that's and pretty bad. I I'm not surprised. Shitty people do shitty things, you know, including fucking shitty people. But Andrew Tate also has records in different countries. Why isn't that enough? I had a friend of mine translate this for me. As you guys will know, I play Overwatch, right? And I have a buddy. I call him the China Man. And uh, he went ahead and... Con I do love that he plays Overwatch. I do like Overwatch. Finally translated this police report for us. And we have it for y'all here. Okay. 
At about 1940 on the evening of August 27, 2018, the reporter came to the police station to report that he met with a Chinese woman at about 12 o'clock noon on August 27, 2018 at lane 288 of Daza Road and exchanged 6,000 yuan for A70 with this woman. So basically he wanted her to give him cash, right? At around uh, 445 on August 27, 2018, the woman hailed a car through Diddy Taxi and, asked, and then asked the reporter for 6,000 RMB. And then the reporter gave 6,000 RMB to the woman, and the two got in the car. Soon after, she claimed that she needed the, to get money from China Construction Bank, the name of the bank, okay. and asked to stop at the China Construction Bank on Yongjia Road, Zui District, Shanghai. But the woman did not return 10 minutes after getting out the car, and the reporter sent a message to the woman, but she replied she didn't want to meet the reporter. The reporter felt that he had been defrauded, so he reported the case. Okay. So this woman takes this guy's money and runs off with it, right? One of the people that she, uh, one of her clients, right? So what does that say about her character? And you guys might be wondering, well, Myron, do you got proof? Oh. Yeah, I guess this whole video is for his bubble, like you guys are saying. He's trying to prove she's an untrustworthy person. She has bad character. That's so funny to me. That's so, yeah, I mean, I get why he's doing it. Um, You know, but like also, I mean, we already knew that. Does that change anything? You know what I mean? I'm not sure that it changes anything. I'm also not because Myron has such a bad character to me. Like, I do think they don't treat people good. And I think that he's willing to smear anyone who's different from him. Like, I feel like if you don't get along with Abba and preach, I don't trust you a little bit. I do. And I'm not just saying that because um, I'm like, tr you know, because I'm friends with Abba, but kind of. But I mean, Abba and preach are good people. And to an extent, like even Ethan not getting along with them makes me look at him like, are you dumb? Myron and Walter not getting along with Abba and Preach, I'm like, are you dumb? Like, it's okay that good people don't get along, but something about Abba and Preach is so unoffensive to me and offensive. It's like, how do you not get along with them? So part of me questions you. It's like Graham Stephan. How do you not get along with Graham Stephan? He's, him and Jack are like the sweetest little beans in the room. I feel like if you don't get along with them, that's weird. It's like Cody Ko and Noel. How are you not going to get along with Cody Ko and Noel? Like certain people, I'm just like, how do you not get along with them? But Ethan, you know why people don't get along with Ethan. He's obnoxious and difficult. Why don't people get along with Myron and Walter? Because they're obnoxious and difficult. They are literally difficult people. But if you look at Ab and Preach, they're not difficult. It's very easy to get along with them. If you look at Cody Ko, it's not difficult to get along with him. He's very likable. So for me, I always feel like it's a little bit of a red flag if people do not get along with people that are not difficult. And I think it's kind of interesting, sort of. You know what I mean? It's a, the type of personality. Like, how do you not... I get along with even difficult people. So I'm a saint, you know. I get along with difficult people because, like, I come from a Middle Eastern background. We're all difficult. I'm a, diff like, di I'm a spectrum of difficult and easygoing. But some people are just very easygoing. You know what I mean? And so I don't understand that. And so I don't trust Myron either because he doesn't get along with easygoing people, which is interesting. You know, there's something interesting about that. I do got proof, actually. I got video. Okay. Here she is taking the dude's money and doing what she's about to do with it. It's funny that she keeps recording all her crimes almost like they could be skits. Why would you... Why would you... Why would you record all your crimes, guys? Doesn't that sound like it could be a skit or a photo shoot or a prank? I mean, she could be recording all her crimes like Andrew Tate. So then they're both shitty. Oh. Is Myron stupid? Someone wrote me that comment. Someone said, Brittany, you don't understand how stupid these men are. So you keep being confused of why they're doing things. And they said, smart people never understand stupid people. And I swear to God, I'm not that smart. But am I that's this is the is this am I stupid or is he stupid? Who's stupid? What's happening? Wait, what's going on? What was that video? What did that video prove? Hey, man. <laughs>
Tron says, what do you think about Abba saying he'd pay for legal fees if she names the kid or uh, Abba and Preach? I think it's funny, but it's not nice that the kid who has that. Well, obviously, don't name the kid Abba. I mean, that'd be shitty for the kid, but it wouldn't. It's it's funny for Abba. It's like a joke, but I don't. I think that would be shitty for the kid, right? What? <laughs> what is that proof? <gasps> Emily says, "I think that the type of person that has no inner monologue <gasps> could that be true? Do you think like he doesn't have an inner monologue? What? What does that prove? I mean." Yeah, yeah, I could end it there. I could end it there, can I? But guess what? I've got you in my sights. There's more. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. The show goes on. The show goes on. We going all the way today, baby. We going all the way, cause guess what? I'm fucking Leonardo DiCaprio in this bitch. The okay. show goes I'm not on. Leaving. Let's fucking go, all right? So here, we have her ID, right? Okay. Here she is. We obviously blurted out personal information so that we wouldn't dox her. But it's to show you guys that we know what we're talking about here. We actually have her Jin Chen. That's your real name. How'd they get that? How'd they get that? Are they doxing her right now? Am I confused? Isn't this against YouTube TOS? Name, by the way, Jin Chen. It's not Daisy. You run around calling yourself Daisy Chen, but you're really Jin Chen, okay? And... We found out that you got fired from your job. Okay? Here's where you used to work for. Is this not am I I'm afraid about reviewing this. Is this doxing? Am I gonna get in trouble? Am I crazy? Is this not doxing? Can I even show this on stream? I'm so confused. Am I even legally allowed to show this? I don't even know if this is okay. Right for a marketing company, you are marketing. It literally manager. says Daisy. Mm -hmm. Why does he? Why is he framing her as lying about her name, when that's literally it says Daisy? Or should I say Jin Chen? And we have the documents to show. Where did he get all these? Did he have someone like log into her accounts or someone? I'm confused. You got fired, and why you got fired again? This is all in Chinese. No, they're still in. This is YouTube. This video is posted on YouTube, guys. But guess what? My boy, we rise once again, a.k.a. China Man, the guy that I play Overwatch with and we rage together when we destroy these scrubs. He went ahead and translated for you guys once again. Shout out to the China Man. We got the official documents. Shout out to we rise. He's, he's on the line as well. Um, but here it is. Here's why she got fired, guys. Okay. Miss Chen Jing, you have been working at Shanghai Beaming Performance Agency Co. since July 2nd, 2018. And your current job is a business assistant. The three-year labor contract signed between you and the company on July 2nd, 2018 shall be terminated on August 3rd, 2018. Look, having fake names on the internet is really normal. So I'm not sure why we're holding that against her for the record. And the employment relationship shall be terminated at the same time due to the following circumstances. Hmm. So she only worked there for like a month? What else was going on in 2018 when she got fired from her job around this time? Oh, she was stealing money and negotiating for fun i don't see that here am i i'm not reading this whole thing out loud i can read faster in my head the worker seriously violates the rules and regulations of the unit okay great okay fra here we go the employee is seriously okay oh and his duties uh the employee is seriously derelict in his duties uh is daisy a boy and causes major damage to the company. Um, the employee establishes labor relations with other employers at the same time, which has a serious impact on the completion of the work of the employer. Uh, okay. Uh, n uh, am I dumb? It just feels, so was she working at two different places at the same time? Or it doesn't say here she stole money. Am I crazy? 18 when she got fired from her job. Around this time. Oh, she was stealing money and negotiating for fun with people in uh, in rooms that which we showed a video of earlier. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. By consensus of the parties, the worker is proved to be ineligible for employment during the probationary period. The worker seriously violated. 
That's normal. Like if you're what? Violates the rules and regulations of the unit. Yeah. The employee is seriously derelict in his duties or commits fraud for personal gain, causing major cut damage to the company. Okay. You still She was in a probation period. I'm what is he proving? Am I stupid? What are you proving? I want to like I was excited for Meyer DePoof shit because I know Daisy piece of shit for fucking Molter. But like what does this prove? In a probationary period of a month, she didn't make it to full time employment? Okay. So? Was it did she really steal money? Stupid. The employee said Where's the proof that she stole literal money? Establishes labor relations with other employers at the same time, which has a serious impact on the completion of the work of the employer or refuses to make corrections upon the company's request. Okay, so she refused to comply when they went to her. So, of course, they would terminate her because she wanted to do something else. He just said it was a matter of choice. Getting terminated during a like a probationary period is not getting fired. But even so, has no one ever been fired or let go from their job? The personal certification materials provided by the employee to the company are false or the company concludes or reviews the labor contract con contrary to its true intention by coercion or taking advantage of the danger of others. The worker is investigated for criminal responsibility in accordance with law. Sure. After the expiration of the medical treatment period, the worker cannot engage in the original job or work arranged by the company. The worker is not competent for the job and is still incompetent for the job after training or job adjustment. Okay. There's a major change in the objective circumstance on which the labor contract is concluded, making it impossible to form the labor contract, and the two parties cannot reach an agreement on the change after negotiation between the parties. That sounds cool. What's wrong with this? They had to legally fire her so they could move on, but isn't that normal with a probationary period? Am I crazy? You're mad at her for not passing her probationary period? parties other circumstances provided for by laws and administrative regulations please go to the company's personal administration department before august 6 2018 to go through the resignation pr uh, procedures such as work handover return of goods and yeah, settlement of normal. expenses and remuneration okay so what does this all mean guys right obviously they have to formally get rid of her and list out why but obviously we got fraud using fake documents to get the job is that what they said guys this is a police report where she basically stole money from an individual okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. She stole money from an individual. All right. And so apparently there's a police report about someone claiming she stole a thousand dollars. She was never convicted. She was never charged. We have no information about this, but they're saying she's a criminal. Yeah. damn. How does that work? How do you work in law enforcement? And before someone's ever found guilty, you say they're a criminal. And if she was a criminal, how does she get a visa to go from China to the U.S.? Think about how none of this makes any sense. This woman takes this guy's money and runs off with it. Right. One of the people that she uh, one of her clients. Right. So what does that say about her character? I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. Guy, Feel bad or no? Fuck no. To give a solitary fuck. Um, exploiting the company's resources. We actually heard from the boss that fired her that she stole money from the company. Okay, well, that's pretty bad. That's pretty shitty behavior. So not only was she engaged in nefarious activities that may or may not include sex work, she's stealing from uh, clients, Okay. right? They filed police reports on her. She's getting okay. fired from jobs because she's stealing from them too. Okay. Is this someone that you guys would believe? Why do we have to believe her? Walter admitted to doing it. I feel like I'm being gaslit. Why do we have to believe her? Walter admitted to coming inside of her. I'm so confused. Obviously, she's been lying all over the place. So she's having inappropriate relationships at her place of work as well, which is another reason why they got rid of her. Interesting. Very, okay. very interesting. But wait, there's more, guys. We're going to keep going. Oh, my God. So as you guys know, right, she said, oh, I don't care about money. I just want to hold Fresh accountable, whatever the hell. Let's run the clip from our guy, Destiny, real quick, where she went ahead and had a whole conversation with him. I don't care about the money. I like his lifestyle. By the United States law, he has to pay for the child support. How much money do you think a man should make for? Yeah, I told him a million dollars. Walter apologized for everything and came clean on everything. Wouldn't you want him to be involved in like your child's life? But why would you care about that? Shouldn't the priority be to like build a healthy life for your future child? Shouldn't that? 
Well, not if the dad wanted, the dad wanted, Walter wants to kill the baby. So should the baby have a relationship with the dad that wanted to kill him? Maybe. If Walter wants to have a relationship, if he's like a good enough person, right? For sure. But Walter wants to kill the baby. So just keep in mind that Walter wants to kill his kid and not maintain that pregnancy. Right? So be the focus you don't care you're not caring the and also destiny's a shit dad who doesn't even live in the same state of his, of his kid he's literally a millionaire who doesn't like eat dinner with his kid or spend time with him except a few times a year so no offense uh in my book that's bad parenting but in your book it might be good parenting i don't want to hear a bad parent lecture a woman over being a good parent okay like peace and love to destiny okay i know i should just be supporting women you know but no offense, like you are a rich man who spends four, five, six, seven, eight, even if it's 30 times a year with your kid when you should be spending, in my opinion, every day with your kid. In my opinion, you shouldn't have kids if you have to be away from the home for a very long period of time. Yes, that includes the military. Yes, that even includes you, bitches. Okay, so peace and love. I don't want a obese person to lecture me about how to get in shape. I don't want bad parents to give parenting advice. Like, otherwise, you know, you hold yourself accountable first. And then you can start lecturing people if you can walk the walk. Okay? So peace and love. In my opinion, none of you are good parents. You're all shitty parents. Right now, it's just a money ticket for you. You're not caring at all about the child. Why are you leaving all the this money? publicly? What the is money the, is the child the support that you think that you were talking about earlier. No, that you're very familiar with. I, I don't I, want to talk to you. Pause. Um, Destiny's going to take a break. He doesn't want to, she doesn't want to talk to him because he's exposing the truth. You say in one sentence, I don't care about the money. Then you're saying, oh yeah, a man's got to make a million dollars a year. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how those two things are diff like, those are two different thoughts. Those are two separate thoughts. Also, fuck Daisy. Fuck all of you. But these are two separate thoughts. Y'all are trash. None of these people should have had babies. None of these people should have babies. You guys need to fucking use birth control. Right? Guys, this woman is a predator. And Andrew Tate isn't? Daisy is a predator, but Andrew Tate isn't? Yo, like, bro, I'm going to burp into this microphone right now. Okay? I'm going to fart in a jar and send it to you right now. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, what? She is a predator and Andrew Tate isn't? And bro, how about they're both predators? How about they're both pieces of shit? Bro, I, I, that's great. That's a crazy, that is a crazy, that's crazy. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, that's crazy, bro. Daisy the Predator and Andrew Tate isn't. You gave, there is more evidence, there's more evidence of Andrew Tate being a sex trafficker than Daisy being a sex worker, but Daisy's a sex worker and Andrew Tate isn't a sex trafficker. Okay, cool, bro. Fucking love that. These people fucking, oh my God, bro. She's obviously coming is coming and trying to use guys, etc. And here's the thing, right? Like I said before, I fresh fucked up, right? He made a mistake. You shouldn't have messed with this girl in the first place. This girl's a predator, all right? But this is what happens a lot of times when you're a guy, you got some money, you got some status, etc. Girls will try to use you, right? Thank God. He saw the red flags and cut it off when he did. Obviously, he didn't cut it off fast enough, but this girl had intentions, right? Nefarious intentions. So I just want to ask you guys one thing, right? Okay, I'm listening. So obviously, we've went through who this woman is, Daisy Chen, a.k.a. her real name. I'm going to call her Jen for the rest of the show. Jin Chen. I swear this is doxing. Is this not illegal? I swear he can get in trouble for this. But maybe not. Actually, maybe he can. It is her name, I guess. Jen. Okay, Jen, we know who you really are now. You're involved with... Is that a threat? Is he threatening her on YouTube? YouTube should delete this channel. This feels like a threat. Escorting, potentially, right? Allegedly. Well, we saw the video. Oh, so we don't know that. Hmm. Right? We know that you stole money from somebody, ran away with it, basically robbed the guy. Hold on, Shadow B says, who will think of them? What about all the men? Jordan Peterson emoji in the chat, guys. What about all the men? What would we do without all the men coming inside these escorts? 
We know that you can't hold a job. You got fired from stealing money from that company as well, having inappropriate relations, etc. I don't know that. I don't know that. He said he talked to the boss, but we didn't talk to the boss. I didn't see no email. So we don't know that. Myron could be lying. We don't know that. So let me ask y'all. Someone like this that has this kind of character, do you think they're going to be honest? I mean, let, let's go through it real quick. So on March 24th, just so you guys know, okay, right? When they got back, when they, uh, towards the end, sure. she did a pregnancy test, guys. Okay. And first, I didn't want to mention this on the last show, but mm-hmm. I'm going to mention it. Mm-hmm. Came back negative. Okay. Oh, like I said, that baby might not be Walter's. And Daisy might not be pregnant. I don't fucking like Daisy or them. But you see how Trash tries to fight with Trash about who's better? It's amazing. I love I love it. I love watching Trash try to be like, I'm not as trashy as you. Girl, we all trashy. Yes, it's a spectrum. And yes, when you're working on yourself, you should know how trashy you are. Maybe you're trashy enough to ditch your kid, but at least you pay his rent. Maybe you're trashy enough to leave your kid altogether, but at least you X, Y, Z. Or maybe you're trashy enough to get pregnant, but you're smart enough to get an abortion. Or maybe you're trashy enough. You know, everyone's on a spectrum, but like trash is trash is trash is trash. I don't know why we're all trying to like figure out who's less trashy, bro. He saw it and his mom saw it. She did a pregnancy test on the 24th, came back negative, right? And then he still nutted in her after? F word with the super chat says, see, it just happened. How dare you? I don't know what you're talking about, but thank you so much. Then a week later, she calls Fresh to say, oh, I'm pregnant. And she recorded. Oh, F word says, cough, cough. Women are trying to steal my last two bucks. And then he super jetted me two bucks. Thanks, bro. With the Hercules. Is that Hercules emoji? I can't see. I'm kind of blind. No, it's uh, it's not Hercules. It's um, oh, I forget what it's called. I don't know. Um, isn't a Chinese person having their own English name common? I mean, my parents are immigrants from Iraq, and like, my mom has my mom has an English name, of course, and then she has her Assyrian name. Lots of my relatives have English names, and then they have their Assyrian names. My dad just kept his Arabic name, but like, yeah, like, even in even for us, even as Middle Eastern people, immigrants, like, my relatives have their. Assyrian names or like Middle Eastern names and then they have their English names because like people can't pronounce their names so they come up with names that are similar in English towards the phone call okay yeah 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 Eitra says wasn't the negative pregnancy test in the text messages she said pregnancy test came back no baby yeah and then after that they still be nutting inside each other you know what I mean as if they're actively trying to get pregnant Trying to get a response. Oh, what are you going to do to me, etc. You know what? We could play the clip right now. Let's play it real quick. Can we pull it up real fast? Ooh, on the side, guys? play it. Uh, the phone call that she had with, with Fresh. Okay. Let's pull that up real quick. Right? Okay. Yeah, and that phone call is shit, bro. She's obviously trying to catch him in something. She's obviously recording, right? Purple Hills of the Super Chat says, Difference here is that in the court of public opinion, Andrew Tate is held accountable while women like Daisy are empowered. Who is empowering Daisy? Who is doing that? Who is empowering her? Can you give me an example of that? And also, Andrew Tate isn't being held accountable. He might be held accountable, but he might get away with it. So I'm not sure what you mean. I mean, thank you for the super chat. But in the court of public opinion, Andrew Tate is fine. Andrew Huberman is doing fine. A lot of these men are doing fine. They have supporters. They're making money. They're doing pretty fine. So I don't know who's empowering Daisy, but even people defending her aren't empowering her. You know, mostly people are dragging her and we're certainly not empowering her on this channel. So I don't even know where that's coming from. And tries to get a response out of him. And first obviously stays calm. She's obviously, I said that the first time I saw her, she's obviously recording. She's obviously trying to get him to say something. Et cetera. And the thing I also want you guys to know. John says Abba's empowering her by offering to pay legal fees. No, that's not about Daisy. That's about him being petty. That has nothing to do. That is, there has nothing to do with ABBA empowering her. That's not how that works. Connor says empowering women is part of their narrative. Whose narrative? Whose narrative? ABBA, like offering to pay her legal fees in exchange for the baby being named after him is pure pettiness. Zero empowerment. No, is that there was an agreement between- And by the way, none of this would be happening if Walter didn't nut inside of a woman he claims is an escort. None of this would be happening- if Walter didn't do Walter things. That's all that matters is Walter nutted inside a 304 who he claims is an escort or who Myron is claiming is an escort. 
And none of this would have happened if he didn't do that, didn't take her to meet his mom, didn't introduce her, his, her to the family in Barbados. So basically, my, uh, Walter introduced an escort to his family. Is that what? Fre oh, that's why my, I get it. It just hit. Oh, I'm stupid. That is why Myron is trying to protect the brand. Because basically, he didn't just nut inside. He, he took this escort to meet his family. Oh, and that ruins the brand because he was about to wife up an escort. Oh, okay. Now I get why they're doing. Oh, I get why Myron's stressing. He's going to have to get a new hairpiece after this. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's because the brand. Oh, he was about to wife up an escort. I'm j why is it just clicking for me? I'm so sorry. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, wow, that would be bad for the brand. That would be bad for the brand, wouldn't it? Yeah, Fresh and Fit fans should be pissed. Yo, this is like a priest trying to diddle a kid, bro. You should be pissed. Ooh, you should be. I'm pissed for, I'm pissed for Fresh and Fit fans. Oh my God, I'm pissed for you guys, bro. Your dudes just fucking like scammed you, bro. Your own leader could even, man, this is what Catholics feel like when a priest diddle a kid, bro. It's like not even our priests could keep from sinning. Not even our leaders could keep from coming in a 304. What, what chance do you have? Wow. Him and her that they weren't going to have kids. He told her he didn't want kids. And she agreed to that. Okay? And I have proof of that right here, right now. Ooh, I'm excited. Roll the clip from... Uh, I was always under the impression Walter didn't want kids. Except maybe later. From our idiots over there in Canada. Okay. So this is, uh, when I wait, how do we know she's an escort? We don't, that's alleged. Myron is alleging she's an escort. We don't know that she's an escort. Um, so. I went ahead and interviewed her, right? No, Shadow B says it was a Rolo who lied about his girlfriend and wife in her background. No, it wasn't Rolo Tomasi. It was, uh, da, 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 da. What's the, the black guy? Da, um, he lied about single moms and how you shouldn't be with a single mom. And then he ended up marrying a single mom. D Den Donovan. Donovan? Is that his name? Donovan? I don't, I don't think Rolo lied. I think Rolo's in a happy marriage, right? So first, this is him uh, asking her about... Uh <gasps> Rolo lied about his wife? Wait, what did Rolo lie about? Rolo Tomasi? Oh, I love Rolo drama. What did Rolo lie about? Uh, them being monogamous, if I'm not mistaken, right? All right. I don't want to... Um, then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's a, that's good question. a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm These morons can't even spell. <laughs> they were in such a rush to get this video out and try to make us look crazy that they couldn't even spell. That just goes to show how thirsty these clowns are for attention, bro. Walter came inside of an escort. Walter came inside of an escort. What's worse? Abin preached misspelling some words or your your homie coming inside an alleged escort that you're claiming is an escort to discount her story dudes went and did a video immediately and shot it, it just shot it oh. by the way daisy denies being an escort she says she isn't one myron is alleging she is which actually makes it worse because if she is an escort when did they find that out after or before he nutted inside of her oh god we gotta make content oh that's how I'm gonna preach anytime sun happens. We literally pay these bums bills, man. Let's go. Thank you for paying my bills. Guys, like the stream. Like the stream, especially if you disagree with me. It's very important. You know, 30% of you who watch don't subscribe. So. All right, let's run the clip. I'm not softballing no, it. Oh, no, I am mad at you. No. I, I, I'm, I'm She's like, I'm about like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush like, monogamy. So I'm accepting this. But, but, you're like, for but you want to have a baby with them. Yeah, I, I understand, I understand, because um, I just felt like I'm not, I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married, or if if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like a week. Like, Rolo married a woman older than him. How do these women marry these men? That's what I'm saying. How are you not trash? How do you not see what your husband does for a living and not feel trashy? How do mob wives not feel like pieces of shit? Because they're just as shitty as their husbands. Period. End of story. This whole, like, some of them might be victims, but realistically, all these people choosing these bad husbands are just as bad as the husbands they choose. You know what I'm saying? Like, morally, it's just bullshit, bro. It's just bullshit. I don't know why 
you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not sure why we're not being more just like, why can't we say that out loud? Why do you guys have such a fucking heart? Not you guys. My audience is amazing. Why do the bubbles not like, why are they unable to say like, hey, shit behavior, you know, how do the wives of these men not because you know what? Women can be bought and sold just as much as men. You put enough money in front of a man or a woman in front of a non-binary and they might just sell out. They might just sell out. It's not. It doesn't matter. It's the time. It doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months. He really wanted to marry me. He's American. And I didn't want that. I ended that. When I, when I met Walter, I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? No, I mean, I, I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to talk to me. Even he's like, uh -huh. no, not the rules will make sense even for him. He's saying, I don't think that's what he's saying. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. In his head, he's like, why are we doing this video? But again, the thirst for them to make content on us is so. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's what happened. I don't think that's what preaches. Mm. Fucking strong that they will go ahead and compromise themselves and interview a criminal, which are proven to you guys. That's pretty much on the run. I'm sorry. Uh, once a criminal, always a criminal. Because Andrew Tate's a criminal. He has warrants out for his right now. If Andrew Tate's such an upstanding guy, why doesn't he go check out those warrants? Why doesn't he go back to the UK? From China in the US, okay, doing a bunch of stupid shit. They will interview her for views. And these guys preach integrity. Hilarious. You're literally friends with Andrew Tate. What are we talking about? Hilarious. Continue on. Girl that can, I'm not the type of girl that's going to have to, that can, that I have to wait for a long time before I marry someone. Now, don't get me wrong. You can have friends that have different morals than you, but Fresh and Fit vouched for Tate, which I think is specific. Like Myron said, Tate isn't a bad person. If we thought he was, we wouldn't be friends with him. But we know that's not true. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he has literally warrants out for his arrest over rape. If he's innocent, he should go to trial. You know? But also, like, hmm. Anyway, I just, I don't understand. Like, the, I understand saying, hey, I have friends and they're really stupid. And yeah, I think he might also be a bad person. But he's my friend and I, I want to visit him in prison when he goes. But he said Andrew Tate's innocent. But he thinks this girl's guilty. It's like, okay, maybe, like maybe, but I think they're probably all guilty. You know, I have a feeling everybody's guilty, you know? Huh? Look, his brain what is fried. What is that? I mean, there's plenty of people who meet their husbands for the first time. That's Abba's really brain, right? That's the preacher's brain right now. Like, ugh. keep going. Okay, so, all right. So obviously she doesn't even make sense when she talks to them, right? Now... Damn, look at his volume on OBS, bro, in the background. It's not even going all the way up. No wonder his audio. How is his audio so low? How you guys make so much money? How do you guys all make so much money? And then you don't have enough for better audio. Look at his OBS in the background. It doesn't even reach. Here, I'm going to prove. Look at, look at, look at. There's, oh my God, look at all this space, bro. No wonder his volume so much less low than mine, bro. Look at it. Do you guys, they're fresh. Not only didn't want to have kids, she knew that. And she agreed with him. She won't, might, might not admit this, but let's go ahead. Let's play. So they, uh, Abba asked her this question, right? The same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation? They're using compressors. I'm an audio engineer. Well, Reed, can you tell them to fucking get louder? Because they're not loud. Pause, pause, really pause. Wanted a child with you. God damn, these doesn't mind. Is it the same as really wants to have a child? Why didn't you get a big verbal Bro. Y'all are fucking stupid over there in Canada, bro. You stupid. Fucking Abba stupid. and Preach are idiots. Like, yo, they were so thirsty to get this video out. They didn't do a spell check. They didn't do a grammar check. 
No proofreading. They just wanted to get this video out as fast. You're so eager to have friends. You're willing to cope so hard over Andrew Tate, who admitted on camera in his own courses that he's scamming men and women out of money. Andrew Tate was on a podcast saying he doesn't feel bad taking men's life savings from them because they were dumb enough to give it to a person anyways while he was pretending to be a sex worker on an app. So again, your friends with a, a like a confessed scammer, which is fine. You can have all the friends you want. But in terms of like character and like who is a good person, subjective, I understand that. I believe that. I don't believe in moral objectivity. But in my opinion, it's interesting that you defend Andrew Tate when he confesses constantly. He literally has confessed on podcasts. He doesn't feel bad at all. He doesn't feel bad at all scamming men out of their life savings, pretending to be women. Andrew Tate is a sex worker. Andrew Tate is a confessed sex worker. Daisy might be a sex worker. What is wrong? It's funny that it's bad when Daisy's a sex worker, but it's not bad when Andrew Tate is. What's going on? they could because that's all these guys do is make hit pieces on us they've been doing this for the better part of three to four years bro these guys are thirsty for content it's hilarious we pay y'all bills you guys are our sons you guys are literally our sons you guys talk about us every chance you get okay and abba you're a coward and you know i challenge you to a boxing match you don't want to do it because you know what grow up you can't just be out here fighting your way bro if you're too immature to talk it out genuinely and listen to people's perspectives, you turn to fists. Weak people fight. That's why the world is a mess because men are so fucking useless that in some men, not you guys, not the men in my audience, the men out there are so useless they would rather bomb children in Palestine and murder people at a concert in Israel than talk it out. Good job, guys. Good job, boys. What the hell's gonna happen? You're a coward. You know this. But you're gonna go ahead and put out these rushed videos, interviewing a criminal, giving her a platform, letting her tell you all these lies. You're over here believing her like she's not a sex worker. And I showed you evidence to prove that she is. Okay? So what does this prove? I'm gonna preach, claim integrity, but they don't have any. I wonder if they're gonna make an apology video after this. No. Why would they? Are you gonna make an apology video supporting Andrew Tate? Probably not. Shadow B, the super chat says, I disagree with you. How are you all not going to add context, bro? With what? Just in general? Thank you for super chatting. <laughs> they never do. That's what they do. They just lie on people, give bottom feed. They did an eight-hour uh, racist hate stream on Abba and Preach, and they're obsessed. Oh, bro. It's just what you say. It's just what you say. Everyone says that. Destiny loves to be like, Brittany's obsessed with me. DGG's like, you're so obsessed with Destiny. I was like... Guys, we're content creators. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what's funny? If you really want to know who's obsessed, ask the guy who keeps putting me in his thumbnails. And on his titles and keeps making fucking videos. I'm just saying, girl, content creators be obsessed with each other. But just ask that to the people that are literally try to cause fights between people. Take people out of context. Y'all can't even talk it out. Okay? Talk it out. Talk it out, but you can't. So you don't talk to those people. Like you guys, don't even fucking get me started, bro. Peter, reaction content. It's fine though, because we're giving a kill chef. Conrad, super chat. We disagree. No context needed. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Reed says, Abram Priest did 40 videos on them. They're both obsessed. It's not obsession. It's called a job. This is our job. Do you think Myron and Fresh and Fit are obsessed with girls on the internet? Or are we all just doing our jobs? Obsession is like when you hyper fixate on a person. Fresh and fit are just relevant. Destiny is just relevant. Jordan Peterson is just relevant. Yes, there can be content creators that are obsessed. But Ab and Preach make a video or two a day. And only 40 videos in the last three years have been on Myron and that's obsession. Guys, Ab and Preach have so many videos. And only 40 of them on Myron? Is that an obsession? Or is that just people like making content because it's relevant? We're all just trying to get a bag out here. Let's be real. This is money. This is a job. That's why pe when people make it personal, they're like, you are my friend. And I'm like, oh, really? I was your friend. You sure about that?
Myron and Abba, they were friends. Myron's like, you betrayed me, Abba. You weren't loyal, Abba. Abba betrayed me. We're, you guys want loyalty without even earning it. You guys are pussies, bro. You literally want loyalty before even earning it. You want loyalty because you guys had one lunch together or did one collab and it was nice. You think one collab or one lunch earns loyalty? Y'all are mad wild, bro. For you and her, both y'all aren't credible. Let's keep going. No, because uh, I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me. But then, okay. Okay, but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me, I'm going to get pregnant. I think it's just a misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was just being in, in irresponsible. Rewind but this for me, quick. he's serious. So, we were talking about. so they ask her again in that poorly worded question. <sighs> Let's play it again. Shadow Beast says the context is a few minutes ago you said super chat, especially if you disagree with you. But I got a call while processing the super chat, so I got delays. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you. I'm about to beat another record, so if you guys want to contribute to that record, uh, super chat, like the stream, uh, comment. All of those things help me uh, beat my records every month. Thank you for that. The same as saying he really wants go to have a, a child. Go back. You... We're going to play it all the way uninterrupted. I'm not even going to say anything. Okay. Hit play. No. Oh, he was like... He's, he was kind of like just admitted that if he he's going to make make me pregnant, he's just going to like raise a baby with me. And he, yes, Captain. he, he, so he, he didn't first, like right? say that, but all the, this, this, his action proves that. Doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because... <laughs> uh, I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me, but then, okay. Pause. So in one sense, she said he wanted to have a kid. Then he, he, then Abba even asked her, right? Hey, well, why did you get verbal confirmation? No. So she never got. You know, it's interesting. Um, sometimes a lot of my friends will be in relationships for oh, like five years and the guy will meet the parents and she'll meet their parents and they'll go on vacation and they'll talk about having kids and they'll be in love. And then the guy breaks up with her. After like five years. And she's like, what the fuck? I thought I was getting engaged this summer and instead I got dumped. What the fuck happened? And I'm like, did you guys ever talk about it? Did you have a conversation? Did you agree when you were going to get married? And all of the women always say no. Like, I just figured it would happen when it would happen. Like, that's how it is in the movies. That's how it is in our life. Like, you don't ask a guy, when is he going to propose? He's supposed to surprise you. And I was like, man, I don't live in that bubble. I ain't going to be no, I don't like surprises, especially marriage surprises. Who wants to be married surprised? If you do, that's great. But you should probably communicate that because I'm not waiting five years of a serious relationship just to get dumped. Now, don't get me wrong. When I was in relationships that lasted two, three, four, five years, I was always the one who's like, I'm not ready to get married. I don't think you're my person yet. I feel like we don't have the same values. But in relationships where you are 100% sure you're getting married, you're like, this is my person. How do you not have that conversation? I understand in a relationship where you're not sure you're getting married, totally. If you're not sure, absolutely. But if you absolutely expect a ring, how do you not have that conversation? So many people do not talk about having kids, money, how they're spending, you know, retirement. It's kind of insane. And that's why I say like people aren't ready for marriage. They're ready to settle. You're not ready for a lifelong commitment. You're ready for like what feels good now. So I don't like that. I feel like if you're serious about marriage, and listen, I had I'm messy 20s, and when I turned 30, I was like, okay, I'm going to be very serious about spending my life with someone because I keep picking the wrong people, and that's not good. So I got my shit together, went to therapy, got my shit in order, you know, started working out, blah, 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 got my career in order, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm married and it's the best decision I ever made. We wake up every day so happy, so in love, so on the same page. Just every day, like so on the same page. And it's because we were serious about marriage. We're going to do this thing. And it's because, well, one, we believe we were lucky enough to run into each other, of course. But more than that, we talked about everything. Before we agreed on engagement, we met the families, we exchanged information, we went over medical bills, financial bills, we exchanged, you know, expenses, how much money we had saved, what our careers were, what our trajectories for our career was. We went over every single detail before we were like, okay, yes, we're doing this thing. 
And then, then we did the thing, okay? Everyone who I tell that story to either loves it or hates it, right? They either love it or hate it. If you hate it, you got to know why. If you love it, it's probably just because you're similar in similar categories. But if you hate it, you got to know why. You know, why doesn't it work? Why isn't it a vibe? Why don't you want to know? Why do you want the surprise? Why won't you have serious conversations? Why didn't Walter at any point when she was talking about getting pregnant say, hey, I do not want kids and I'm not going to nut inside of you if you keep trying to have kids. Walter nutted inside of her after she literally said, I'm trying to get pregnant. I'm just confused. Why would you do that? Huge violation, right? I don't understand this. Okay, I got to pee. I've been drinking this drink and I'm fucking, I got to pee so bad. I'll be right back. At all that he wanted to have a kid. And again, remember guys, because look, when you look at that phone call, we need context. So he's with her, knows her for a period of about 20 days. That's why I told y'all, context matters. They had hung out for uh, cumulatively for approximately 20 days. He's vetting her throughout the process, right? But also stupidly having sex with her. Let's add that, right? Unprotected. He says, I don't want kids. I do appreciate that. I appreciate that he's calling out Walter for being an idiot. She agrees. She does a pregnancy test on the 24th. It's negative. Ooh. Cool, right? All in the clear. Yep. Okay. She knows I don't want kids. She doesn't want to have kids. Keep in mind also, guys, this girl's a bodybuilder. I just don't get it. Like, when did they go from not wanting kids to her making comments in the text messages about trying to get pregnant? She doesn't want to ruin her body. And we know why she doesn't want to ruin her body besides this bodybuilding. It's her moneymaker, if you guys don't remember earlier in the show what we showed. We don't know that. We don't know that she's an escort. That's alleged. Correct? We, so, have, no, we have no actual... Nope. We do not know that. Obviously, this girl's had plastic surgery, etc. She's a very vain person. All right? Sure. So... And is that he's thinking, okay, she don't want to have a kid. She want to ruin her body. Sure. I've told her I don't want a kid. She agrees that. She did a pregnancy test. It's negative. So then a week later, she calls and says, oh, I'm pregnant, right? Which we have the video right here. Let's play it real quick. Do we have it, Bills? The, the yeah, the call. So obviously he's in shock. Like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. we, 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 we're going to have kids. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. So she calls him and she records. Uh I mean, I, I agree with all of this. I never thought Walter wanted to have kids. That's why I was surprised at the text messages. That's why I was like, so I'm confused. I want she records it prior to calling him. Which Ooh, okay, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll give an example. Sometimes in relationships where there's definitely not going to have kids, but also, well, maybe not right now. There are situations where they talk about having kids without there being kids. So there is a possibility that, da and again, I think both these people are trash, so I don't care. But there is a possibility that him and Daisy would joke about having kids, but not mean it. That's actually pretty common. Mm, yeah, I think that's pretty common. So to be fair to both of them, especially Walter, I do think it is common enough for them to joke about kids. Like, oh my God, do you want to have kids? Should you put a kid in me? But then... It's like, no, that's why we're not having kids. Mm, so I could see that. By the way, it's a felony in the state of Florida. Congratulations. You committed another crime besides what you did in China, right? Getting fired from your job for embezzling and also on top of that. Yeah, wait, if he slept with her on the 22nd, the pregnancy test would be negative. There's possibility a week later, but she'd have a high enough HCG levels. Yeah, I'm confused on those things too. The test could be fake. All of it could be fake. You know what I mean? That, um, you know, Commit, committing acts of uh, potential solicitation here, which we have video proof of. You're committing crimes all over the place. Yeah, and the negative pregnancy test doesn't matter. Um, Eicher's right. The negative pregnancy test is irrelevant. Guys, Myron is just trying to obfuscate. They talked about the negative pregnancy test in the text messages. Right. So it's not like that that's new. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. Hmm. And then you also committed a crime by recording this phone call. It's illegal to, to record a phone call in Florida. Oh, Destiny's fucked, bro. <laughs> he admits to recording calls all the time, doesn't he? Mm, pretty sh mm, Disney in Florida? He better delete all those fucking calls. Let's put, roll the clip. So she calls him a week later. After, mind you, a week after giving fresh a pregnancy, a, a negative pregnancy test, she calls him a week and says this dumb shit. 
What? I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill. And yeah, this call is obvious, right? That she's trying to catch him saying something. Like, I don't think, I don't think anyone's disputing that. And it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. Yep. She should have been using birth control then. See, that's the problem. Not killing you. Okay. I want to keep the baby. She wasn't in Florida, so that's irrelevant. Yeah. Was she recording him from Florida? Because if not, then that's different. You know what I mean? Um, interesting. Discord says, I think Florida is just a two-party consent to record state. Okay, well, yeah, if she, was she even in Florida when she called him for that? I'm not sure. Newark is a one-party, so she's fine. Okay, Jesus Christ, I hate all these people. This is all so dumb, bro. He admitted he nutted inside of her. She might be pregnant. Who fucking cares about anything else? I'm pro-choice. Kill the baby. Who move on? Yeet the baby out the womb, girl. Or accept the fact that Walter never wanted kids and you got to raise this kid alone. Make a decision. Be an adult. It doesn't matter. Asking him to step up and to be a parent is beautiful, but you also like kind of like inappropriately trapped him. But then the text messages of her saying she was trying to get pregnant. If my if Walter took it seriously, should he should know she was trying. Oh, my God. I'm so exhausted. These people suck. These people suck. Stop. These people suck. Don't be these people. There. That's the lesson we're all going to learn. Don't be any of these people. None of these people involved are great people. Jesus. Probing, probing questions to get a okay. response. Well, This is like, just everyone hates each other. When I say the love of your life, bros, when I say the love of your life, a symbiotic relationship where you care deeply about the other person, you if you deeply care about someone, you are going to be on the same page as them. As them. If you deeply, profoundly, intimately care about someone and you're having a symbiotic relationship, you're working in conjunction, you are going to have them on the, you're going to be on the same page. You're going to want to tell that person, I really want to have a baby for real, for real. Or I don't want to have a baby, but can I pretend I want a baby? Or we need to get on birth control. My now husband and I, and I'll say this for the new viewers, when we were courting and we we didn't, he lived in Europe, I lived in America. When we went to meet for the first time, we of course got SDI tested. Both of us did testing because that's responsible. And then we both prepared to get on birth control, condoms for the boy and birth, like the rod for me. And we prepared and we had them in mind and we were responsible because even if we had met each other and didn't vibe sexually, we were prepared in case we would and we vibe sexually, of course. So, of course, we had sex because we're adults, okay? We're grownups and we prepared. You know how many adult people I know into their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s do not get STI tested, do not use birth control, they do not prepare. Lots of people think having a baby is casual. I personally don't. And I think if you have a baby, you should want that baby to have the best life possible and in my mind, the best life possible is a parent who is there tucking their kid into bed, a parent that is actively in their life, okay? If you're in a two-parent situation, obviously, if you're a single mom or a single dad, you got to do your best. You can't be there 24-7. But if there's two working adults, you're going to want to be near your kid, tucking them in, or co-parenting in a way where your kid sees you multiple times a week, okay? And I think that there's something here that's missing, which is like instead of caring about that person, not putting them in the position to be making a lifelong decision they're not prepared for, most people are not paying attention to the details. They are abusing each other, not in like a literal way, but they're like not caring enough about the person to make a better decision. They're not caring enough about the baby to make a better decision. And that's just sad. Like this is just sad. It's sad that Daisy was getting pregnant with a guy she wasn't sure about. That Walter was having unprotected sex with a woman he wasn't sure about. And it sucks that the baby's in the middle of it. But also, okay, if they're going to keep this baby, then there has to be, a, like, whether Walter likes it or not, if that baby comes to term, if there is a baby, that baby's his. And I think he should be responsible towards the baby. 
And I think if she's going to have that baby, she needs to be very responsible when it comes to that baby. Will they be? Probably not. Most people are not responsible when it comes to having babies. So I don't know why we'd expect them to be. They weren't even responsible when it came to having sex. They weren't even responsible before the baby came into the world. Why would they be responsible all of a sudden because there's a baby? Like I said, I just don't want any kids. And she knew that. That's not news. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Pause. See? Guys, like... Yeah, what are you going to do to me? Obviously, that felt like a weird thing for her to say. Either her English sucks or she's trying to get him to say something threatening, which is kind of already Myron. Myron already did that by saying her full name and showing her ID on stream. Myron, if anyone threatened Daisy, it was Myron, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting that Myron knows Daisy was trying to catch Walter in a threat. But then Myron just went ahead and threatened Daisy on stream anyways. Saying her name, exposing her ID, exposing her workplace or her former workplace. Isn't, I just feel like that's such a weird thing to do. The fact that she's like, bro, who, who does that? Who calls, right? Like, and this is what I'm trying to say when I said we got to question everything, right? Mm -hmm. She calls him, recording the phone call, mm -hmm. asking probing questions to try to get an emotional response to make him look crazy. Mm -hmm. After they had agreed that they were not going to have kids... And yeah. you guys saw even in her own interview, she never got confirmation from Fresh that she wanted kids. He told her we're not going to mm -hmm. have kids. She agreed to them not having kids. Mm -hmm. She admitted that in the interview as well, mm -hmm. right? But then she calls him saying, I'm pregnant. And on top of that, she had done a pregnancy test a week before. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you all a question. With the totality of the circumstances, mm -hmm. do you think she's honestly telling the truth here with her being potentially pregnant? She's been doing a fucking press run the past week. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at this. Why is this? Why is this mascara running? I don't know if she's pregnant. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that she's pregnant, right? She showed paperwork, but I don't know any of that could be forged. But at the same time, yeah, so I guess his whole argument is that she's not pregnant. Which would make her out to be a complete cunt. A roo. Cunt, a roo, cunt, a roo, cunt uh, in an Australian way. A rue, because that means she is going around saying she's pregnant when she knows she's not. But then that's not that surprising. You know what I mean? Hmm. Going on every single podcast that will have her to talk about this, to bring up her brand and bring up her to her new Twitter that she just made mm -hmm. and her new and her Instagram. She's been doing interviews all over the place. Who would do that if they were actually? Yeah, where's the proof that she agreed? Did I miss that? No, I don't think there's actual proof that she agreed not to have a baby. Because in the text message she showed, they she definitely said she was trying to get pregnant. Showed a negative test and then showed a positive one. So I'm Myron still isn't providing proof, by the way. Even if it sounds like I'm siding with Myron, I'm siding with neither Fresh and Fit nor Daisy. I feel like a lot of people are fucking up here. I don't trust anyone involved. So from Brittany's perspective, I neither trust nor condone any of the behavior by anybody involved in the situation. Is she pregnant with someone's kid? She's been doing a social media blitz. Okay? Then Guys, all we have to do is wait five months, bro. Six months, seven months, eight months, nine months. If we're waiting for her to show, I don't know, everyone's different. But like, let's just wait nine months and see if there's a baby. Or she can get a doctor to like come on stream and say, we did the test. She's definitely pregnant. She has the goal. To make a joke with these idiots and say, yeah, I'll name the kid Abba Preached, Chen, whatever. <sighs> like, what? Who does that? If you were actually pregnant, would you actually do this stuff? Yeah, why not? If you really cared about the law, would you be defending Andrew Tate? If you really cared about the dignity of women and men, would you be defending Andrew Tate? Yeah, why not? Everybody has a different spectrum of what they think that means. Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't she do this? All these people think they're lawyers, bro. Causing right. doubt in the minds of the jury. Nope. The reality is this, guys. He didn't want to be with her. He sent her <sighs> home. She got angry about it. Waited a week. Someone probably got in her head while she was up there in New York. And she said, you know what? I, I He just admitted it's New York, right? She's filming or recording videos in New York. I'm so exhausted. What an exhausting bubble. That's what I'm saying. Like, God damn, these people, bro. I'm done with this guy, but I'm going to burn down the whole building while I do it because I'm angry and I feel a certain way. So I'm going to let my emotions get the best of me and I'm going to air out all this stuff. Be I mean, I believe it, right? She sounds untrustworthy. 
just like Walter, so I wouldn't be surprised. Because they're not going to know about my past in China. They're not going to know that I got fired from a job for embezzling. They're not going to know that I was running around. I don't know that. Gun to my head. I didn't see any proof of that. See, this is what I mean when I say, like, do you know? If someone put a gun to your literal head and said, do you know this versus do you believe this? None of us know that she got fired for any of those reasons. Gun to our head. We would be dead if we took that bet. Because we don't know that. We weren't shown actual proof. Yes, we all agree. Guys, when someone says, I know something, do you mean that you believe something or do you mean that you know something? Because you can believe she was fired for that reason, but I saw no evidence. I have no reason to think that is true. Okay, I did not see irrefutable proof, gun to my head, that she was fired for that reason. I have, like, you know what I'm saying? Even Andrew Tate being a sex trafficker, even though he said it, I have no proof he actually is a sex trafficker. You know this, right? Because he, I would have to catch him in the act to know versus somebody else proving it. And then I, again, know is a very specific word to my brain. Like to know something is a very specific thing. It's to say that I know the objective, gun to my head, if there was a universe where like somebody could actually, you know, pull the trigger and it would either kill me or not kill me based off of no. Know. Knowing is a very specific thing. So do we know that she's pregnant? No. Do we know, okay, that she was a sex worker? No. Do we know anything? No. We just believe it because people keep telling us. We believe Daisy might be pregnant because she showed us what she thinks is proof. I believe Andrew Tate is a sex trafficker based off what he said. I believe, I believe, I believe, but I don't know these things. I wasn't there selling myself to people on the internet they're not going to know that i was a sugar baby and that i was doing all this other stuff they're not going to know that i stole money we do now jin chen we know who you really are you're not credible at all oh interesting decision myron because you did it you thought that your past in china wouldn't get back to us but it did i wonder if this is going to work on freshest is freshens fits audience smart enough to know what's happening like they're being gaslit by myron or do you think they're going to fall for it I feel like they're smarter than Myron and, and, and I think they're starting to get smarter. I think they're starting to realize it. Like, I, I wonder if Fresh and Fit's audience is going to be like, what the fuck, bro? Interesting. Because in your own foolish attempt to go viral with this, people came forward and told us who you really are. You thought you would escape China and your past back then. Do you know how many people send me DMs every day saying they have proof? against people in my life they're like oh i have proof that sneako did this or i have proof that you know someone did this or someone did you know how many times i've gotten emails or letters with like screenshots and e i don't know if any of that's true and no i don't answer your dms because you guys are freaks okay i don't need to know this shit don't send me shit that looks fucking forged half the messages i get about people look fucking fake as shit I don't know that this is true. I don't know why you're putting your reputation on what some rando is sending you on the internet. Even though I get messages every day from people, I'm skeptical as fuck, bro. Until I see you on FaceTime and we have a conversation, I also kind of assume I'm getting fucking maybe like scammed by someone. I'm so paranoid that I'm talking to some freak on the internet who's like pretending to be a YouTuber that unless it comes from your verified account, I don't believe you. If I get a message from somebody, it better come from your fucking Instagram or your direct account because I don't trust no random emails, bro. I just assume it's a fucking a fan pretending or like a hater pretending to be that person. But also, you know, I've gotten messages. You know what I do? I'll be tr I'll be truthful in case any of you are listening. Sometimes when I get a DM and they say, hey, I'm so and so, so and so, I go, OK. And then I have a cordial conversation and I try to have an honest one. But I would not be surprised if it wasn't a fake account. Because again, like, I understand people contact me sometimes. They want to say their side of the story without being in a collab. They want to be like, hey, I saw you make a video about me. I just want to, like, clear something up. And I'm like, okay. But they don't want me to mention it online. They just want me to know. That's great. But also, unless it comes from your verified account, I never know if it's actually the person reaching out to me or what. Because it's just... That's just how weird the internet is. The internet is a very weird place. There, but it came back to haunt you and it's coming back to haunt you now. And you're getting buried with the fucking truth because everything I showed is factual. We know who you really are. We know what you really do. Mm. We got video. We got documents. Mm. Everything. Mm. Let's read some of these chats. 
Is that illegal when he says, like, this stuff is factual? Like, is that a lie? Reed says this whole podcast he's doing trying to damage her character. It's court. That's what layers do. Lawyers do. This is why most of the time lawyers don't like bringing up in prostitutes uh, or drug addicts as witnesses. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I'm in the sex work bubble. So like I'm I know good people exist everywhere. Look, if priests are diddling your kids, the least of your worries are sex workers. Like obviously nothing about your job ultimately says if you're a good or bad person, if the job is specifically like sex work versus being a priest. Because like sex work doesn't automatically assume you're a bad person. Except people pretend it does. Just like being a priest doesn't mean you're automatically a good person. You're just assuming it does, you know. Um, we got here Zachary. Zachary. Fucking mic drop, bro. Like th this chick is done. Like, it, it, like it, you're not credible. You're not Jin. I know you're not? watching this thing right now. Is Jin Chen, you are not credible. This could have been done. Behind closed doors, y'all could have handled this like adults, but you wanted to run to the internet and illegally record him. You committed another felony, by the way, okay? And and you best believe, I'm calling immigration on you, hundred mm. percent. You sh you. Sh he will call immigration on her, and he'll stand by Andrew Tate, even though he's got. A warrant out for his arrest because of a rape in the UK. Hmm. Shouldn't even be here. You're in the United States committing crimes. And you committed crimes back in China as well. And we have proof of that. You mm -hmm. fucked up. You played yourself. You wanted the clout. Now you're going to get the clout. I'm going to make you famous. You thought that this was a fucking game. And that's irrefutable proof everything I got. And I got more too. I mean, I wish he showed us the, inf like, the proof. That would have been better. But man, if she did those things, I mean, I get it. But bro, interesting, interesting. Ooh, I'm not showing it all for obvious reasons. But the truth is the truth and it's come out. All right. Mm. Go, man. Rashad Crenshaw in the chat says, when the baby mama is a suspected criminal, bruh, it is what it is. I'm not surprised, you know. Let's we'll see what y'all think on this. Um, Zachary. Zachary says, started a dick ride in my brother's credit, maybe uh, coming uh, to by an authorized user, up 70 points in two months. Thanks, brethren. Um, and then we got here, Venom says, Ab is such a loser, what kind of man gets as invested in another man's relationships, gossiping like a female, like he is in the shaded room. Dude, I love humans. They're all so petty. Adulthood really is high school with money, bros. What do you think Myron's doing this whole video? Myron is literally doing what Abba and Preacher are doing. They're both doing the same thing. We're all making content on each other, bro. Can't wait to be on Destiny stream to spill tea like a woman. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these guys ran to this girl to give her a platform, not knowing that she's a criminal. She's a Yeah, but why would anyone know that? We don't even know if she's a criminal. He didn't show evidence. He showed paperwork that could have been doctored. She showed paperwork that she's pregnant. He showed the same amount of evidence she got fired and is a criminal. We don't know these things. We don't know if she's pregnant. We don't know if any of the paperwork she showed is real. That's the problem with paperwork. I, it can just be forged. It can be made up. Guys, paperwork is not, it, it's not real. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Like, I've seen paperwork where I'm like, I'm seeing this. It doesn't mean it's real. Because, like, unless I have a government employee tell me, like, yeah, this is legit. And that government employee isn't being paid off. I don't know what's real or not because everything can be faked. If passports can be faked, why wouldn't a pregnancy test be faked? Or or Myron's alleged like evidence of her being fired. He's a criminal. Jack says, just got my dot physical and commercial learner's permit starting CDL school in a couple weeks. You guys and RP Thor really gave me the confidence to go all in. Are you all, uh, are you guys going to bring, uh, don't worry, we'll bring them in the future. Uh, does this prove how fragile the red pill space is? You know, I don't think humans are willing to admit that all the, quote, great men in history were fragile. Look at all these men that killed all their wives because they wanted to fuck new pussy, bro. Like, look at all these leaders that fucked their slaves and got them pregnant, bro. Look at all these people that literally did horrible things to people and were like, great men. These are great men. Okay. 
Cool. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Will says, is she a sex worker that reflects poorly on Fresh? Uh, makes him one an idiot for having unprotected sex with her. Yeah. I ain't gonna, bro, I bro. told you already at the top of the show that he's an idiot for that. You know, obviously this information came after the fact, right? We found out about this. Um, what? Amber says Bobby Lee and Whitney Cummings bought fake COVID tests to get out of things. Can Is that true? Uh, is that true? Right. After uh, he already what already had been done with her and all this stuff kind of blew up that we got the real deal but you know he uh, the, thankfully he he got rid of her before then obviously rashad says all of this kind of makes fresh look worse oh that's what i'm saying rashad do you think the fresh and fit audience will actually respect or actually realize they're being scammed a little bit like i have a feeling that some and a lot of people in the fresh and fit audience might actually realize like oh they're not like walking the walk they're not practicing what they preach do you think that the audience is actually going to realize that and like move to a different kind of male influencer like who's a good male role model they can move to you know Rashad said if Myron and Fresh were smart they'd let her play all her cards rather than respond and make it worse I'm shocked that he's presenting this as proof it feels like not even any more proof than she has over being pregnant it's a very weird, like, I don't know why Myron is doing this. Like, I just, I don't know why he's doing this. Not early enough, and he did fuck up. We, well, I'm not here to, you know, lie to y'all and say that he didn't fuck up. He did, bro. He did make a mistake here. But what I'm saying is we need to look at the character of this woman. Is she actually telling the truth about this pregnancy? It's questionable. Very questionable. Um, What else we got here? He goes, W mine, W bills, W big. Whoa, how did Lexi and Shadow B type the same thing? They're not abbing what they preach, bro. They're not practicing what they abba and preach. How did both of you write the same? Are, are you both bots? Not literally, but isn't that crazy? Humans' brains are amazing. You both typed the same fucking pun at the same time. I am blown away. Rashad says, I think that their audience stunking on women is the most important thing. Maybe. Reed says they're part of their audience per se, kind of. So I don't, oh, but you listen to everyone, so you don't count. Me too. You don't count. We li People like us who watch everybody, but we're not like really, like I'm not a fan of, uh, of Fresh and Fit, but I do listen to everybody because I just want to see what they're talking about. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. God. Big Mo, that Reddit caller who called a couple months and called <clears> out Fresh for his chick is looking like a god right now for being spot on about this girl. I don't recall that call, but that's fine. I mean, bro, yeah. I mean, hey, it is what it is. I told y'all already. Uh, Man Myron the Goat, appreciate that, Keem. Uh, shout out to you, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> and then we got here, Venom goes, bro, she really a little sex worker in my 50 Cent voice. This is a movie. Hey, man. Like I said before, I didn't... I don't want to do this. Reed says, hell, I married a woman older than me and have a child with her. I don't fit the red pill. Let's go. Hey, fuck the red pill, bro. Have your own life. Can you imagine saying you've escaped the matrix or you live your own life, but you're going to put up all of these rules that just make your life harder? Look, I have rules for my life based off my morals and values, and they keep me disciplined and better, and I'm joyful every day. But bro, I'm going to live my life exactly who I want. Fuck them rules that other people created. I'm going to fall in love with whoever I fall in love with and I'm going to have the life I want to have. I don't care what the rules are. Oh, Brittany, you can't do this because of this and this and this. No, no, you can't do that because you've decided you can't, but I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. This is my life. But I had to. Like this girl went on a press run and kept doing interview after interview after interview, lying and lying and lying. Like, no, man, you're not credible, Jin Chen. You're not credible at all. And I hope you're watching this right now fucking crying because you've been exposed. Okay, like you, you need to go back to China is what you need to do. Uh, racist. Because you can, you're here on a fucking visa for some odd reason. You're still paying that five thousand dollars a month for rent in New York. I don't know how you can afford that when you're not supposed to be working. How are you making money? Bryson says I'm Habibi pilled. Let's go. Reed says, does Britney sing only on stream? Only on stream. Purple Hills with the super chat says they won't lose followers or viewers just like Tate. The anti-male misandry that's commonplace in the mainstream media causes this heavy pendulum swing. Yeah, well, here we are. And don't get me wrong. I would talk to Myron. 
if Myron would have a real conversation with me. I would love to get into the psychology of a guy like Myron, but I don't think Myron would know how to be vulnerable with me or talk to me like a person. But I would talk to him because I would want to know, like, what really drives you as a human when you're alone and no one's around? What's going through your head? But I just don't think Myron knows how to have that conversation. But I would have it if Myron would have it with me. Rachel says, am I immature for still laughing at them calling the police on the baby mama? This is the funniest solution. Well, I think they're thinking it's not a baby mama because they don't think she's pregnant. They think they're calling the immigration on just like a girl who's breaking her visa. You know what I mean? Lakar says he would never take you seriously. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm saying. I can't talk to a man like Myron because he doesn't take women seriously. He doesn't value women as people. So that's why he's like, I dismiss him. Because if you can't value women, why should women value men? Men and women are valuable. Humans are valuable, not because of their gender, because of their consciousness. I would never live in a world, I would never want to live in a world where men aren't valuable. One, I have a dad and eight brothers. But two, I have a husband and she's very important to me. And so like, I just couldn't imagine doing that. And plus, what am I, self-hating? Self-hating? If I hate all men? Like, it just doesn't make sense, you know? But I, I think that's the dilemma is, is I don't know, I can't live in a world thinking men are second-class citizens to women. I know I make a lot of misandry jokes and I'm really transparent with that, but obviously I value the dignity and sanctity of like, the relationship between men and women or men on the planet or men as human beings. Avi, bro. It's going to be working while you're here. Hmm. Discord said this man has the introspection of a potato. Obviously, Myron is introspective. To a degree. But I think he's just cock blocked somewhere. He's not that introspective, but he's enough. You know? I don't know. McCree says, I've got you in my sights. Hey, man. I'll tell you this, bro. Uh, Yo, he loves that sound bite, bro. Um, <laughs> Bob goes, congrats, you saw, you told uh, S SW, you love her, to close and nutter in her because everything you sell your fans is a lie. Every Rashad says Myron would do it. I don't think so, bro. thing about Amru is an act because he is the most- Lexi says, do you think Myron feels safe being vulnerable with anyone? To me, it seems like he can't even be vulnerable with himself. Agree. There's no way. Secure person on the internet. Uh, both are clowns. Yell in the mic more, crybaby. Yet you're here watching the show. What does that say about you then? <laughs> and you donated. And you donated. So I don't know what the, I mean, I don't know what's worse, bro. You stupid. Okay. I love when my haters donate. Please super chat me to talk shit. Please do it. Stupid. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Rashid Mel says, compare her speech when she's negotiating money as a prostitute to how she talks when she's talking to Alba and Preach. She talks like a woman versus a 10-year-old girl. Hey, it is what it is, man. Mm. Rashad says, interestingly, every man that's turned red pill is introspective. It's just they turn down a dark path. Maybe. I obviously, they're introspective enough to realize, like, I could do something else with my life. It's just what they chose to do is interesting. I don't think all of them are like that necessarily. But I think that, yeah. Mm, yeah. Reed says, Myron is a clout chaser. He's a million times on the pod that you have to have a certain amount of status or clout to get on. As a man, yeah, I mean, obviously, Myron's a businessman, right? Which no one can argue he's very good at it, right? Um, Ricky Sticky says, I ain't trust these hoes ever since Yamcha died protecting the earth. Hey, 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 hey. Yamcha, first of all, is fine. He's doing fine. And also, okay. Have you seen him in Super? And Boma dumped him and got with the nigga that tried. No, no, no. Boma was never going to be with Yamcha. Because Yamcha, it, Boma is made, she is, first of all, a working woman and a scientist. And none of the red pillars would even date Boma. Guys, Boma emoji in the chat, guys. Members have Boma emoji in the chat, guys. First of all, red pillars wouldn't even date a Boma because they don't even appreciate that Boma first. Without Boma, Vegeta and Goku wouldn't have done shit like a thousand times. Without Boma, literally, what would you what would y'all have even done? What would you even have done, bro? The Dragon Ball Z is so egalitarian, bro. They literally have a whole ass scene in Super about like tough women and the kinds of women my brothers call me Chi Chi and Bulma growing up, because you know how it is. You know how it be. You know, Vegeta doesn't have a job. You guys know Vegeta does not have a job. Yes, we all understand this. Do we all understand that Vegeta does not have a job? Bulma is the breadwinner in that family. We all know this, right? 
If you watch Dragon Ball Z, Bulma is the breadwinner in that family. None of the red pillars would even respect Bulma because they're Yamchas. Of course Bulma didn't choose Yamcha because even though he's a nice guy, he would never respect her dominance or masculinity and she would need a partner who in his own right could hold his own and wasn't threatened by the fact that she had a job or was smarter than him. And Bulma is literally smarter than Vegeta. Bulma is literally the breadwinner. Bulma is literally the partner to a very great dad who is a stay-at-home dad. Vegeta is a great dad. He's a better dad than Goku at certain points of the series, but he's a stay-at-home dad. And we love that. We love to see that. So the next time you wonder why my partner quit his job and doesn't have one and I'm the breadwinner, remember that I am the Bulma in this relationship. Okay? And we are partners and he has his own role to play. Okay? But there's a reason my brothers call me Bulma and Chi Chi growing up. Okay? There's a reason I would make a great wife to a Saiyan prince. Okay? Okay. It's a destroy it. <laughs> Talk about Vegeta. Yeah. Yo, man. It's over 9,000. Uh, let's see here. Macabell says, Yo, Marin, always respect how you defend your homies, but please don't get sued for defamation by this dumb 304. She did do it too. Well, here's the oh. thing. Oh. Think about defamation, guys. If it's true, you can't do nothing. The biggest defense to defamation is the truth. What you gonna do? Sue me for mm. telling the truth? Mm. We y'all saw it clear as day in 1080p. Did we though? Did we see it? R.I.P. Toriyama. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Ugh, what a sad day. That's her negotiating with a guy for sex and payment. Yep. Yeah. Nope. There is no. There is no yep. defamation. It's the truth. Nope. I have her employment documents that show that why she got fired. Y'all saw it. It's there in fucking Chinese, and we translate it for y'all. Can't do nothing. Um, she should have thought about that before going into, uh, before making all these videos and trying to tarnish Fresh's name. She should have thought about all that. Uh, let's fucking go. Too bad this 304 uh, Myron Su Sung is here to make some sure justice <laughs> sir. Bring down the hammer, my brother. The truth will prevail. W Myron W uh, F N F W Fresh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, Fresh didn't want me to do this, but I said, Nah, man. Enough is enough, bro. Enough. Enough is, is enough, enough, bro. Once she brought these, you know, anus and reach into it, and uh, I'm skipping that, clout. facts, bro. That's um, that uh, that she came from a good family, etc. Just so y'all know, her mom doesn't talk to her anymore. I wonder why. What? Yeah, her mom. So her mom doesn't talk to her anymore. Walter's mom is meeting all these women and not telling them. Sounds like both y'all got shit moms, bro. R.I.P. to Walter's mom. I know she's old. He's probably taking advantage of her, by the way. Because, like, why is he introducing women to his mom that he's not marrying or slash serious about? If this was such a casual relationship, if it was never serious, why did she go meet the family? Why did she meet the mom? So either Walter's mom is also in on the scam or she, he's taking advantage of her. That sucks. And also, not talking to your family could be a red flag. I agree. Or could not be a red flag. It depends. Mom oh, doesn't talk to her anymore. And also, I don't know that. I don't know that she doesn't talk to her mom anymore. So, probably because of this. It is what it is. How do we know that? I don't know that. Well, we got the truth now. You know, I've always said <laughs> there's three things that always come to light that you can't hide. The sun, the moon, and the truth. It took us a little bit of... Uh, no, War says, why are they copying each three with the sound bites? No, they've always had sound bites. Sound bites are just very popular with certain shows. Lots of people do them. Bit of time, but we got the truth, and that's what it is, guys. Um, What else do we got here? Myron, watch your sucky, sucky business start booming after this because of a bitch-ass Sims. It is. Does she have an OnlyFans? This is so boring. What it is, bro. Even her mother doesn't like her is the name of this timestamp. She's a clout chasing, blah, blah, blah. Myron goes after Jerry from the quartering. You mean Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> that they weren't going to have kids. When she knew he didn't want to have kids. She knew this. Even though she didn't get verbal confirmation, she knew that she didn't want it. But then she's like, I feel like he wanted to have kids. What are you talking about? Right? Everything that this woman does is emotional, guys. She's went on this whole 
public. Um, he threw something and broke a TV. He was being so emotional. But, I don't want to hear Meyer talk about what's man. emotional. Would you be calling in? To, I'm skipping because I don't care about any of this. Uh, just, uh, calling to get a reaction like that? Fishing? Maybe. Monday, money, Monday. Crazy amount of people have made bad conclusions, reaction channels that haven't done so in the past. The truth is consistent. Some people's faith aren't great work, man. Now I appreciate it, bro. Like I said, this is not to absolve. Save behind. Okay, let's watch him go after the quartering. My video. Let me go ahead and record. Hey, Brittany, love your content. Thank you, Serena. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. I can edit this thing because I'm so thirsty for content, but you'll never say that stuff to my face. You will put on the boxing gloves and box. No. Nope. Hey, we could give the money to charity. We could box and send the money to Palestine. How about that? Why don't you just talk it out like a, an adult? Boxing is so like, no offense, but like, it's kind of desperate unless you're into sports, unless it's done in good faith. Boxing is like what you do when you're kind of like desperate. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense to box. How do you just, why don't you just talk it out like an adult? That. But he can't. Myron literally throws shit and breaks TVs. If a woman did that, he would discount her from ever being able to speak again. He threw a woman out on the show for the show because like, she kept, quote, interrupting or talking or standing her ground. If she threw shit at a TV and broke it, like, you know what? It's just silly. This is a silly argument. Send the money to Gaza. Would you do that? Oh, no, you won't. No. Nope. You probably won't because you're a fucking coward. Yep. yep. Anyway. I like how they only want to box when they know the person wouldn't say yes. Like, they're all loyal when shit's easy. Myron feels really lazy to me, even though he's not lazy. I know Myron isn't a lazy person, but sometimes I feel like he only picks fights he knows he can win, which I guess is smart, but it's also kind of pussy. You know, yeah, Take says Preach wanted to box them both back in the day or back to back and Fresh and Fit turned that down. That's what I'm saying. Preach said he would fight you guys and you turned it down and now you know because Abba and um, Preach came out and said, look, we're not going to fight anybody. We're going to try to be bigger people here, even if we're going to be petty sometimes. And once they took it off the table that they were going to box anyone, now Myron is challenging them to a boxing match. How does How is that not the pussiest thing you've ever seen? Oh, so when Preach was ready to fight, you guys say no. And now that Fresh and, or Abbott and Preach said, like, we're not going to do that anymore. You know what I mean? Like, how does the audience not hear that and realize, like, oh, Myron's a bitch. Like, Walter's a bitch, bro. Like, they're literally pussies, bro. I would take on a bear, bro. I would take on a bear, bro, and Sneeko at the same time, bro. I would take them all on, bro. Bears in the chat, guys. Bears on the chat. That's sarcasm. I'm 5'1". I'm not fighting anybody. But, okay, for real, though, but a bear, I would take a bear in a fight. You know what I mean? Because I'll beat you up for free, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else do we got here? He loves to beat up the ass, you know? Jeep and Jinping and Overwatch China Man are disappointed. Hey, man. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, she on both control. That's Fresh's favorite question, so I'm assuming he asked her. I think he did it on live, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Easy Money says, what's her number? I got some extra cash this week. She, oh, my God. Man. You fucking got it. Why don't you try and seek asylum with CBP now? Nah, man. She got to go back to China after this one, bro. Uh, hey, Mo, how do you feel about Cody finishing his story? Ah, that was a fantastic WrestleMania, by the way. Um, Yo, where I is the Jeremy it. I stuff? I was part of it. Through Fresh's mistake, the whole two phone call, they, all the markers were there at the time. Now, obviously, we've come to find out that it was a lie, but she lied to everybody. A girl that you're seeing, right, you're going to come to defend her. He did what a guy should do. He defended the girl that he was seeing at the time. Now, obviously, we've come to find out that it was a lie, but she lied to everybody. She lied to everybody. I mean, you wouldn't have found this information out either. Bro, she did all her dirt in China. I had to pull out fucking Mandarin documents to show y'all niggas that she's a fucking scam artist. <laughs> you know, I had to get stuff from the other side of the world. So none of us would have known. Everybody got fooled, bro. It is what it is. What? Well, we know the truth now. Uh, Ugh, Emily says, 5'1", you have such tall energy. I would have thought you were 5'10". Everybody says that about me. Everyone thinks I'm tall. It's because I have dominant energy. It's because I'm the most dominant of all the bitches on the internet. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. When Abba and Destiny met me, they were like, ah. And I was like, I know. I'm a short queen. Conrad with the super chest says, can you unhide Man of War I accidentally hid? Um, I think it's good now. For some reason, I'm not allowed. I don't know why when I go to do it. It doesn't actually let me reverse it if it's already been automatically reversed. So it looks like it's reversed already. Um, 
Here, let me at Man of War. Can you see this, bro? Man of War. Can you see this? Okay. Yeah, people think I'm tall. Um, one, I think it's because of the way that I hold myself. Uh, but two, it's it's the Bulma Chichi energy. It's the dominant female energy, bro. People be afraid of us. I hold on, I got you. What is it? Uh, what's her number? I got some extra cash. Uh, no, no. We oh, got that. Okay. Uh, what? man, listen, I'm trying to sling sling some ling ling from Ching Ching. Man, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you guys are fired. All right, these two right here, and we done. Last two, okay. Um, Pim Rogers, first time. Why is this titled? Myron goes up to Jerry from the quartering, and I don't see him talking about the quartering. Am I fucking crazy? Watching Abba this That's what they do. He's probably gonna make a hippies right. He's probably off of talking. Shit. Owes y'all a huge apology after watching Abba and preach. They look like those two retards from Nickelodeon. Welcome to Good Burger. <laughs> <laughs> Keenan and Kel, how dare you? But, uh, Rolo, Rolo Tomasi Tomas. says Jeremy from the quartering owes y'all a huge apology after this. See y'all Axis Vegas next week. We got you, fam. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, he does owe us an apology, but he's probably not going to do it because the guy no. makes money off of talking shit about people, just like Abba and Preach. These commentary channels, that's how they make their living, is talking poorly about other individuals mm. without all the facts. Yeah. That's what they do. That's Sometimes. That's what they do. Um, uh, they're going to they make another one. Like, yeah, he's days. probably going to make a hit piece, right? He's probably recording right now yeah, as we speak. There, as we yeah, he's right probably going to make a video right now. Like, But still, he wanted to get the abortion. It's like, bro. Like, Accusations. You need to focus on your health and diet over Fresh's health and fucking yeah. what he's going, got going on. Um, what else we yeah. got here? All right, we're done. We got, we got we want to have to do this shit like I said before. I want to do a Money Monday with y'all. But enough was enough, and we had to go ahead man, expose this chick, man. You know, obviously I'm gonna put timestamps in here so you guys can go through it. But she lied, straight up, she lied, and and I'm I'm gonna take accountability and say that she she fooled even us, right? Um, luckily some good Samaritans came forward and provided us some information all the way from the other side of the world, um, anonymously of course, right? That's why we. How do they verify that? Like, how do they verify that? Yeah, to protect their uh, identity. But um, you guys got the evidence now. You guys can go ahead and you know. Uh, make your own conclusions if you believe her about this pregnancy but you you guys have it there right this woman clearly has uh just say it again for my viewers nobody believes daisy's pregnant or not pregnant we don't know no issue with stealing no issue with embezzling no issue with using blackmail no issue with selling herself having sugar daddies etc we I don't, don't know. know that he never showed proof of any of that he showed videos that could mean anything oh i don't know I mean, it doesn't seem credible to me, but you guys can make your own decision. I don't know, guys. It just doesn't seem credible to me, guys. I don't know, guys. Guys, I don't know. It doesn't seem that credible to me. He's like trying to use reverse psychology on his own audience. He thinks he's he thinks so little of his own audience. He's like, guys, I don't know. The only people who said they knew her are y'all. A question for you, bro. What proof do you have that she's an escort? This girl comes from a rich ass family. Yeah, bro. You know how d difficult it is to get a fucking visa as a Chinese national to come to the United States as often as she does? She comes from a very wealthy family, bro. Here's where you're wrong. One, she's on the court. And two, I didn't buy a bracelet. Fresh, why are you even addressing this? Live your life. You're not doing anything a person uh, in your shoes wouldn't do. You're living the dream and people are going to hate as long as you know you do right by your people and with God you're good. The problem is, bro, true. is that. They, it's because they brought her into, they brought her into, the, into, the, into the, yeah. I, you can roast Normally, me he wouldn't give a yeah, I don't, dude, you can roast me all day. I, don't really, I really don't care. But when you bring her family and her in, into this, is weird, bro. It's like really weird. Like, and she's cool. She's cool as f. So it's like, bro, why? Because you want to hate on me? Come on, man. This is why I don't do vlogs anymore with girls. This is the reason why. Yeah. Because they make them look crazy. Yeah. 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 It's, and th this is honestly, like, it's, it's like, funny because we gave y'all the IRL, right? Showing a little bit of our life. Yeah. And then it, like, n now it's like, and you guys wonder why, like, we're reluctant to, like, show you guys stuff that we do behind the scenes is because. <sighs> People got to be weird, bro. Like, they always got to be. Yeah, they do. But the reason you guys don't do it is because you guys are fraudsters. And if you really show what happens behind the curtain, they're going to see that you don't live the lifestyle that you proclaim. But, and Fresh, this is evidence of that. Because whether this girl's an ex worker or not really has no importance to me. But it has an importance to your movement and the things that you guys profess. These are the exact kind of women that you tell all the men to. If she is what she say, you say she is. You, this is the exact kind of woman you tell every guy to avoid. When you went on the HG podcast, you said you have to sleep with 50 women or more. Why? So you can discern female nature so you can spot a good one from a bad one what guys have to do is kind of go in and understand how women operate in today's day and age and i think a, a good way to do that is obviously to have experience so that you're not getting into a relationship or a situation 
with a woman and you're not aware of her nature and you don't know how to deal with it. Fresh is supposedly had a thousand bodies. Pretty successful ladies, you know, we're both a triple digit notch count, he's in the quadruples. <laughs> so, my honest to God, true body count, bro, no cap. You ready for it? It's over a thousand. I'm dead ass serious. I remember, I told you, right? I told you about in Barbados when, so basically guys, I'm gonna break it down for you, right? And you can't tell a good one from a bad one? Doesn't this just make you look like you have zero credibility? She kind of sound like a hoe and you know hoes lie. Like he's usually, he's literally using reverse psychology on his own fucking audience. That's how little he thinks about his own audience, bro. Decision on that. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. I don't know if we're going to have an after hour tonight. Okay, bye. Bye, bitch. Bye. Okay, bye, Walter. No, Myron. Bye, Myron. Okay, we're done. We finished it. We're amazing. We finished it. We're amazing. We finished just like Walter did inside of Daisy. We finished, but it's not going to make a baby. Because I can't get the internet pregnant. But I'll try my best. Thank you guys so much for supporting my career and letting me make this a job. <laughs> Please like the stream, guys. Thank you. Woo! Fuck! You know. I... Girl. Yes, Bryson. Girl. I don't even know what to say. Um... I still don't know what the truth is. I'm not seeing enough evidence from Daisy or Walter. I look forward to something more tangible and real as evidence. And ultimately, I wish everyone more introspection. That's what I wish for all these people involved. In my head, in real life, I'm in bed. My belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool